Kisas, Urus, Raido, Sobulo, Naudis, Teivas, Raido, Isa, Purisas, Urus, Raido, Sobulo, Naudis, Teivas, Raido, Isa, Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is time. For the great pagan war. Banana, banana, penis, Jenna likes a bunch of bananas in the face, but on a Monday, oh yeah, the day of the week is fine, but on Monday. Seems good. Wow, I missed something last time. Oh, if you missed yesterday, then yeah, you did. 
Uh, we are in the final stages of this campaign. I wanted to fight a big war to end things off, and well, we got one. I was a really nasty boy. I declared a whole bunch of wars and took a whole bunch of stuff as non co belligerents to end it up with, and now we have this. We have a 2 million men coalition led by France, which is lagging a lot. If I open up the screen, I don't know why it's doing that, but sure thing. Um, and uh, we've honestly, it took them forever to actually declare the war. Like, that was kind of crazy. Uh, that gave us a lot of time to prepare. I actually went out and got defensive ideas. We are pretty close to getting new cannons, which is going to be great. I think that's going to put my comma with it. Like, yeah, 29. So I'm going to want a lot more cannons now. So I can have two 30k stacks. So I have two armies to work with. Let's get that party started. Seems good. I might want to get rid of some of my units here. Because of how nasty that is. Uh, also, we are flipping our country to finish. Um, once that's done, I can form Scandinavia and show you that. So, anyway, that's further ado. Coalition started two streams ago. No, but th th no, this one's different. This one's different. This one's fundamentally different than that. It's all of Europe. Anyway, let's uh, get right into business and win this war. Also, I'm gonna get rid of you. That will save me some resources. Yeah, now we're only 10 units over the limit. That should be fine. That should be fine. So that means my stacks are going to be slightly differently sized. So I'd like 30 and 40. Okay, we'll do that. On to important matters. What is that glorious hat? So this is peak hat technology. So I'm wearing a latex fucking helmet. Right, which is incredibly uncomfortable to wear. So what we did was I'm wearing the captain's hat under it, over that we have the headphones, so it doesn't touch my face, and I can still hear myself talk without getting muffled. So this is this is prime time hat technology. Delete troop templates. Okay, just did that. So is this stream? Is this the clash of civilizations or a rambling of religions? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, it sort of is both. Let's say it's a crusade to once and for all end uh, the Norse religion. And for us, it is for... We're fighting for Odin. <laughs> Got myself a discipline guy, that's fine. We are making money still, so we need to see how that goes. And we have a very, very wide front incredibly wide front and I would like to get some more cogs so I can actually ship my army across all the time so we need 70 cogs so I need another 43 boats which we don't have the money for let me go find that money There we go. So now we can properly ship our units across. Provided we don't get fully blockaded because we're at war with both Britain and the Netherlands, so. That's uh, gonna be something. Did you ever build the rampart on the Lithuania fort? Uh, right, yeah, so I've built uh, max forts across the entire front line. They're all upgraded. And I've got the rampart on all of them. Well, they're being constructed on all of them. Let's make sure all these forts are on um, defensive edicts. As well. Okay. And then I want all my other states. Can I refresh this?
Yeah. So all of those are on defensive. Let me make sure all the other ones are on um, uh, increased enlistment. Because we're going to get everyone and their mother in here. Estonia. Is this Estonia? This is Estonia. No, no, no. You can go on that. That's fine. Right? Because I need every ounce of manpower I can get my hands on. So now we should see a green and brown map. Right, uh, Oslo is still on that. Okay, green and brown map, green on the forts, the rest is all in the increased enlistment. Perfect. You're missing one rampart in Lithuania. What? Am I? No, I'm not. Oh, I am! Oh, oh, uh, well. Uh, it's a march. Okay. No, the queen died! <laughs> and what do we have over here? Okay. Bunch of dudes. And uh, let's make sure that this army works. It's also a fully drilled up army, which is interesting. And I'll need some openings to find enemies in. Because uh, this is going to be a lot of dudes over here. I'd like it if they would get to a position where we can actually kill something. Also, my army still needs to recover its morale before we start fighting. I mean, this we can maybe quickly wipe. If I can beat them to Strala, and I can, I don't know if they're going to be willing to reinforce that. Let's see. And they would not. So I'm going to be pretending to walk away here. Let's make sure this area is scorched. Yeah, they are definitely afraid of my stack, which is very, very good. Flurry streaming eight days in a row, the Paradox kidnap you and force you to make contact, blink twice to confirm. Well, they did force me to make content given how awesome this patch is, so I guess in a way you might be correct. Alright, let's walk in there. I just can't stop playing. Alright, if we can win this, we'll get some of our morale back. So let's see. Ooh, they might be able to reinforce on time. Three days? Yeah, they will be able to reinforce on time. We got it wrong. <gasps> Look at the morale difference on these! Seven point four to three point nine. Are you joking? <laughs> Yo, I wiped it. Yeah, walk away. I might still need to retreat though. Cause I'm not I'm still not doing the best I can. I need the uh, I need to recover my morale, really. So I have to retreat to Tushula or something. I need to get to my safe space. Wait, what? Hold on. Am I gonna die there? Nah, I'm fine. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Yeah, I, I, I just need one second to recover my morale, and then we can go back to stomping these people. Hey, right, how are the other forts holding? Yeah, they're doing pretty well. That's good. Let's uh, walk over there. Have already golden age? Yes. Ah, and here's the British Navy. 
Ugh. Disgusting. We are so far behind in Diptych that I can't really do anything with that, so... Cannons are almost finishing up. Once those are done, we'll have a second stack to work with. Okay, cute little stack wipe. And uh, we're gonna go over there. Although I still need this army to just recover. Wonder if we can beat this navy. Well, I mean, I wonder, but I know that the answer is no. Still, let's give it a shot so he leaves with his boats. Who wants it? Dr. Phil Athene. I mean, it's got no leader. We actually almost have equal morale. I might be able to get out morale him if I can get a morale of Navy's guy. And we do have one available. Alright, when can I retreat there? 11th of May. Alright, that sounds good. How's this siege doing? 21%. Cute little wipe. Time to bring you home because we're going back to Tushula. I mean, so far it's going well. I'm sinking his bolts, dude. Look at all the reds. Then again, there's also some red on my side. I think I'll be okay. Hey, no, I'm not gonna be okay. It depends. Nah, I'm not gonna be here. No! I don't want your help, you stinky. What are you doing? Padisha Sulaiman, no. Now the two numbers are gonna be sort of equal. I don't need your help, get out. But, I mean, they're gonna get separate pieced out. They won't last the whole war. I'll not have a rock take my glory, Prince of Troy. Okay. It's fine. If he wants to die, then he can go die. That's fine. What's not so fine is Tushula. Oh! And what's especially also not so fine is uh, Kolomna falling. Mm, maybe go there real quick? He's gonna make it there on time. The only issue is he's still protecting this, and my cannons aren't done yet, so I don't have my second stack. Please don't bump into enemies here. You really don't need to. Even if that one falls, it's actually fine, it's just that we lose this area, which I don't want to lose. He's still blockading me here. Shoot. Alright, don't get it at 7. Don't get it at 7. Okay, didn't get it at 7. Perfect. Yeah, we don't even have this tech yet. Can you imagine? Okay, he moved. And because he moved, and we're so fast, I should be able to bring the second army over. Because we're just that fast. I'll be missing another cannon, though. Oh, and we need to tell the Hakapilatata to go over here, because apparently Scotland's landing. Can't have that. Can you spy on someone who has 16 mil? Uh, I am. Austria has 16 mil. So, I should probably be able to get it in January. Let's turn off the Force March there. No, the Netherlands is here. And we stack with the... Those. I right, turn to force march back. Leave. Come on, leave. Just leave. 18th, they leave. 
And I move before he does. Fucking events, man. Hey, you should be able to make it there. Yeah. But at least I have some of them in here. It's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted way more, but... Right, he's leaving again? He's leaving on the 26th. So I gotta wait one more day. Now he's gonna get to the Baltic on the 28th. And he leaves again on the 31st, but then these guys are coming in. Meanwhile, we're at 28% now on that fourth. And how are the Hockey Pilatata doing? Yeah, I'm really gonna need you to ride faster. Use feet, hooves, use hooves. Western front looks kind of empty. You could probably bring your troops in through Shelan. Yeah, but this fort is dying, so that's why I need to be here like right now. They're gonna leave on the fourth. Right, this should be enough to attack Tushula. Seems good. Again, they're leaving, and they're going out and about, and we've got... Yeah, 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 we'll use him, that's fine. And what I might want to do is just get more guys. Suyasa, thank you for the raid, man! Tip my out to you, sir! Welcome aboard, guys! Alright, we bumped into some enemies here. That is less than stellar. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, <laughs> Warriors don't read books. They just need to be whipped into shape. Okay. So, France actually... Oh, look! Global Defender Dice Roll Bonus. Look at that. Yeah. Because it's uh, on the fourth. He is also on that tech, by the way. Tech 16. Which is a big tech. A very big tech. And so we're not filling proper cannons. That's okay though. So this might actually not be a wipe. How much time do we have? Yeah. Nah, it won't be a wipe. Close though. I think once we have tech 16 we'll be fine. And also we didn't have enough cannons because we didn't bring them over like this. So he's gonna leave on the second. He's got a speedboat over here. And how's, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna clean that up, that's fine. What is that defender thing? Uh, we have marshes. Ramparts built. That's giving me a dice roll bonus. This place needs an extra cannon, though. It died. Yeah, let's go get that guy. Okay, in three months' time, I'll have the extra cannons. Is that dice roll bonus new? Yes. Yeah. I did not mean to do that, but that's okay. You don't need to build that guy. So most of my forts are holding. I'm gonna tell you guys to go over to Death Marchin. Other than that, we're holding steady and we're sitting behind our forts. Uh, let's walk around like this. And we could try fighting the Navy. I would like to have Naval Superiority at one point, but I think we'll need Galley Asses for that. All right, and here come my uh, Haki Palita. Let's see. Uh, it's equal numbers. They're gonna stack wipe that easily. I'd say. Alright, one more month and then we can move into Ortelsburg. Which is wood, so we'll get a plus two bonus. 
Meantime, yeah, you guys will do fine. Why is Spain not part of this? Sure, I'll give you more access, that's fine. Did you end up wiping that? You did not. Wow, okay. Seems like it got close, though. Ooh, and they've breached the walls in uh, this. Now, you're gonna wipe that, and then you're gonna go north and go deal with Riga. Okay, we did end up moving them off of that siege, so... These dudes can go back. Uh, I need to be careful about the whole money situation. Okay. Yeah, and in two months I'll have my tech, so... Let's bring more uh, reinforcements over there. I really don't want the uh, Pal Palashka to fall. Can we get more reinforcements in there quick? Okay. Shift consolidate. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Holy sus! Boom. <laughs> Wait! That was a stack wipe and it gave 0 .02 war score. That's amazing. <laughs> Imagine trapping all the Europeans. Uh, no, I'm not gonna trap anything here. I will be splitting up this army because I don't need it to suffer attrition here. In fact, I think I'm gonna tell it to drill. Show the Otto friend fort? I mean, Otto, I want Otto to get peace out. Like, I don't want him to be here. Okay. Any more forts over here that we can huddle? No. You need allies to win? I don't need allies to win. I didn't want them to join. I do wonder where uh, Scotland's gonna run off to with those guys. Okay, it's January, so now we should be able to grab this. Yes. Okay, so that gives me plus one artillery shock, or uh, fire, and we get new cannons now. So now they no longer have that as an advantage. Switch the front line with the 22k stack. Uh, I don't need to. Tell you what I will do though, we're going back over to Jutland, because there's enemies there. Would like to get some better leaders at some point too, because we don't have 6-6s. Six Alright, just give me my morale tick. Alright, we're going in. Ooh, they're reinforcing? That's not good. Okay, no they're not. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, boom. It's dead. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. He, did, he had too much cab in that as well. What's that roll with the stars? It means we're fighting on a fort that I build a ramparts on. I, I had tons of time to prepare for this war because they they were such wussy. They didn't want to declare for some reason. Might have something to do with the fact that the war's been going on for one year and they've lost 600,000 troops versus our 66. But, you know. Can't really know for sure. Ah, Odin. Use the Finnish horses. Uh, the Finnish horses are here to chase after landings that the Scots make. Because they're extra fast. Carried by the autos? Your mom got carried by the autos. I wish it would show which, how many dudes uh, a 
have inflicted. Look at the ultimate front. Yeah, he's... I hope he pieces out soon. Either that or they just completely ignore him and uh, in that case the Ottomans is gonna start occupying the southern part of the coalition. But now, now this looks fair and balanced, which kind of really annoys me. I, I really hope he pieces out, because I didn't want that. Okay. Good. Got a new little stack wipe. Let's go for Tushila. Boom. <laughs> that never gets old, dude. I want to make sure these forts are scored. Oh! That's a problem? Oh, and also I want to consolidate some of these, actually. Because I'm uh, over the force limit. By three units. And... I need to do something to boost my income. Hmm. Now, it, it, it's a little bit different from 1.32 as well. Basically, the, the, the biggest change they did was they made it so... Um, dead bodies now... They'll disappear, like they'll go away. Instead of clogging up the battle. So now you get rewarded for having good units. And that's the biggest change, and I fucking love it. What is it? I would like to get naval superiority in the Baltic. I don't need it like everywhere, I just need it in the Baltic. Which we might be able to get once we have Diptech 14. Wait, why'd you stop? Oh, because they're straight crossing there, well, okay. Am I raising more taxes? I better be. Yeah. I've got some inflation as well. Let's buy that down. That saves a lot of money. Anything else I can do to save cash? I mean, I could get rid of this really expensive dip guy. <laughs> wow, toxic streamer cheating. Not only a war ally in Europe, but not even... I don't have a war ally. It's a, it's, it's a liability. That he's part of the war. He's costing me a war score from battle. The only thing he's doing is losing battles. Okay, they're still up to 2 million men. Yeah, he'll peace out soon, and then we can focus on coalition and Ernst again. Uh, there's a lot of forts now that they've breached that we're gonna need to march over real quick it's Really glad we have two stacks though like my god like this guy constantly needs to walk like this And the other one constantly needs to be in Russia Oh, I'm losing 20 dockets now because I think the copper mine- No! The copper mine's still there! Ooh, well that's no good. Well, pretty soon I can sell again. Hopefully before the copper mine runs out. Uh, he actually has this thing at 7, so we'll go for that one first. How's the performance? Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm playing at speed 3 right now because... Well, if I play on speed... Before I die. The phone's blowing up. Boom! I really you're gonna sit in Luki? Please don't don't be that guy. Cause then I gotta walk all the way around. You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna just charge in. 
You wanna be that guy? Fine. Go be that guy. Yeah, well, I asked you nicely to leave, and you didn't. That This is all on you. Okay. <laughs> hey, Flurry, are you going to play Teutonic Water today? Teutonic Water? Teutonic Order, yes. Ooh, man, these guys are holding st- well, they were. <laughs> Maybe Occupy Hamburg, that's gonna give me lots of money, and also unseaging this will give me resources. But then I'll have to siege down many more forts, like Rupen, Luneburg, Hamburg. I'll need to siege down all of that. Which I suppose we could try and do, why not? Wait, what is this? Some Dutch Marines landing on my face? Fuck off. Stack wipe's too easy, revert it. No. And the only reason we're stack wiping as much is because we built. Because Sweden's just completely overpowered, so. No. Alright. Did we stop the Dutch before they killed me? Yes. Perfect. Another cute little wipe. Yeah, he's dead. Boom. Got 32% already. How many losses so far? One million. Keep in mind, this is the first year of the war. What stats do my infantry have? So I've got 140% infantry combat ability. Uh, and then we have 125% discipline. And uh, only 70 AT actually. I mean, the ultimate gets contribution for having their units die in the attrition, so uh, I don't think that's very beatable. Can I sell my crown land again? Yeah. Okay, so now I have a little bit of a war chest, because I still can't take loans, I'm not allowed. Spanish artillery is uh, the most powerful artillery in the game, because of the plus one fire. It is only uh, beaten by... Uh, not even beaten. It is to It goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Smolensk. Oh, come on, Otto. What are you doing? Actually helping. Get out. <laughs> right, cool. I'm gonna have these guys drill, because they're not doing anything. And I think we'll need to send an army over here to go deal with that. We can maybe kill some small navies over here. Alta just wants to love me. Yeah, well, I don't want to love him. He's stealing my glory. That's not allowed. Alright. Won the Battle of the Gulf of Papega. And any more Scottish landings? No. Did Otto intervene? Yeah, they did. I mean, I'm at war with like four great powers, so... It, it, it also... It could have been the Mughals that intervened. It could have been the Mughals. Alright, <laughs> uh, how are you doing? You're doing well. Captured another boat. Yeah, the fact that he's blockading me is costing me a lot of money, so... Maybe if I can get enough cogs together, and I park them in Shothland, they'll stop trying to... Reach the walls and... Yeah, maybe we should. Alright, 
How are the other forts doing? Other forts are holding. So I'll go for a ticket of repairs and then we're gonna go in there. No, we're going in there immediately. We're going in there immediately because this is only barks and cogs. Getting carried by the Ottomans again. God damn it. I'm so annoyed at the Ottos for joining this. Oh, I got it carried by shit. This is perfect defense, okay? Alright, let's get these other speedboats in there as well. Check more participation. Yeah, I know, but, but how much has he actually participated? He's just dying to attrition. That's giving him the fucking... That's giving him the, the, the casualties. He's gonna peace out. And he'll have done nothing. Like, what's he done? All he's been doing is dying and feeding the enemy war score. That's it. Paradox in chat, hide the exploits. I really hope they peace out soon. Alright. Can I fight this? No, and I won't. I'm just gonna hold Shoflan, so now I'm not getting blockaded. I, uh, it would have been great if I had this thing for the naval combat off of Owned Coast, so I can just hold this and be fine. But now with this many cogs here, I think it's gonna be too afraid to attack that navy, so we'll be safe now. Hopefully. And big boss is here! How you doing? <laughs> Any script related fixes in my mind? We are bug fixing today. Today is the chance to remind me of stuff I might have forgotten. Devastate Christianity? Gives a hundred prestige, but you need 50 prestige to click it. <laughs> I don't know, man! I can't think of anything. But yeah, it's not like you can spend the prestige quickly, because... Uh... Yeah, and it doesn't give mana points or anything. Literally unplayable, okay? Literally unplayable. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's nothing wrong with war taxes. But that, that's not a script related change, right? I don't know how to computer. Also, hi, Ogle! Will centralized imperial bureaucracy be nerfed? Oh, that's a good question. I don't think it needs a nerf. It set us back abusing that quite a bit. So I don't think we really abused it more as we used it. Because it did delay us getting our everything. It's only a temporary delay, but... I mean, it did allow us to... fix our governing capacity without building too many uh, court houses. Like, I built, like, what, five of them? Yeah, I built, like, six or something. Yeah, you don't have to use it before you finish the reforms, but then... Then what's the point? Because then you should use the other one. If you're first gonna finish all the reforms, you should pick this one for the reform progress growth. They're spending so much mill on this. Alright, you guys can go drill, and you guys are also drilling. That's fine. I wonder when that copper price is going to change, and how much that's going to affect me. Alright, we got Hamburg seats down, so we can go liberate Lubeck now. Um, If I want to keep Lubeck, I also need to siege down Lunenburg. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think I'm gonna hard disagree on you on that one. I am Sparta because these mission trees are so much fucking fun. Like, I don't know, and they are uh, all DLC, right? I had a ton of fun with uh, Gotland. They are very OP though. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and we're making money. I balanced the budget. Let's go. Can you please peace out, Alto? No, he's still very much on high. <laughs> Alright, going back to whack a mole. I could just tell, like, if he's not gonna fight me, we should go on the offensive. Let's do it. So I'm gonna siege down Berlin and Lüneburg. And, uh, the, like, this entire fort line we're gonna occupy. Yeah, Alta really simping for me right now. And you know what? The manpower is holding stable too. Which is crazy to think about. <laughs> okay, you know what? He's actually doing something useful. <laughs> I think I'd have 50% war score right now if this land didn't get occupied. Yeah, you started on 200. Yeah, so it's holding kind of stable because I built... Keep in mind, I started at 200, but I built um, 30,000 extra cannons, so... Why not use the speedboats to get around more? Because I'm afraid if I move my boats, I'd need to use the transports, right? If I use the boats, that I would start to... That they will blockade me again. Because they, they had me fully blockaded a while ago. And right now, because I have this many boats in here, he sees my cogs and he's like, okay, maybe not fight that, even though he could totally crush it. I think they determine it... Partly on the whole strength of the navy. Oh fuck! Alright, this is why we don't split our armies. Maybe use the speedboats anyway. Yeah, oh fuck. This could be very bad. This could be a total disaster. I mean, we're holding. There's no point using boats for this. It's only one day fast and I'm walking, but it's during a month tick. Shit, do I just reinforce that? They need to hold off for 10 more days. Fuck it, let's just reinforce it. Hold! 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 Alright, rip. <laughs> That's really bad. I don't want to be there. I mean, I do, but later. Wait, I don't have time to be fighting this nonsense. I need to go protect Russia. I can have one army pushing and one army defending, but I'll need... Yeah, I don't have time to be fighting that. Where are you gonna retreat into? Oh yeah, yeah he's going the right way. That's good.
we're good. So we can get those boats back to look spooky. Yeah, I definitely need to hold all these forts now. And turn off the force march there, that's fine. How much more should we have from battles now? Uh, it's kind of impossible to tell. Is this a coalition war? Yeah. Uh, we're fighting all of Europe. Unfortunately, the Ottomans decided to intervene, which is really screwing with my war score. Because, uh, you know... They're getting a lot of war score from occupying all of Alto. <laughs> I don't want his clumsy troops getting in the way of my Swedish space marines. Lunenburg secured. Ooh. Some French units here now. That's a lot of guys. Um, and I need my army to recover for a bit. So we're going to walk like so. And yeah, we can just walk over that. Let's get these dudes over there. Get those to stop drilling. And okay, that's kind of unfortunate. But it's like a blessing in disguise, I suppose. So let's get Tyr back. And let's see what he's all about. Okay, sure, I'll take it. Viking Nephilim, thank you for giving a sub to Comrade Christian. Tip my letter to you, sir. Alright, Alto, please just peace out, dude. The thing is, once Alto pieces, we can... We can probably piece ourselves. My stack is generalist. I know, it was the king. But he's in the enemy terrain right now, so I can't assign a leader to it. She's so surprised that my manpower is holding. Like, that's actually crazy. That is actually crazy. Alright, if we want to get something done here, we'll have to move. You know what? How's my AT now? 77.4. Hmm. I think I'm going to wait. Get more professionalism. Traxon, thank you for summoning for 61 months in Rome, man. Tip letter to you, sir. Actually, a bit of a joke. Wait, hold on. Did I miss the second one? The second one? It's not a Christian thing. I know what you remember that. <laughs> Will I play Poland sometime after Teutonic? We might. Is forming Poland not a thing as the Teutons? Can I combine the two mission trees? Wait, I know Poland's not a thing game tag. So it's going to be very interesting to see what we can do with that. You can? It's insane? Yeah, I think we should. Uh, I can't believe they got Hamburg at 84%. That's really awkward. Alright, let's go. We got to punch through somewhere. Alright, all of them move, so that's good, because that meant that they lost the um, progress on this. Yeah, we lost 5% discipline when the leader died, that's unfortunate. How's Russia doing? Russia's holding? I wish I could see the global manpower pool of my enemies. Why not castle in Malborg for local defensiveness? Uh, because this way I get to protect all of my land. Whereas in Trusso land... I mean, it's only on the, on the province itself, right? So... It's a great fort, but it's a terrible position for the fort.
Check war enemies in the ledger. Yeah, but it doesn't say total. Um... It doesn't say total. Man. So France is almost out. Austria doesn't give a shit. And the rest we can't really check. I suppose Poland's also almost out. Yeah, I can, but I'd have to add all the numbers together. That would require counting. Yeah, they even, uh, Norse even has its own little mission tree. It's a secret. You gotta be Norse and then do the theo uh, theologian discussion and then you get uh, secret Norse missions. We did those yesterday. Oh, we can punch through again. I need to um, whittle down those armies a little bit because there's too many right now. We need to find some wipes or something. I'm Sweden, so I move before he does. Perfect. Oh my god. This could be really good. <gasps> if you can kill like 5k more guys before the end of the battle. Just 1.8k more guys. Come on, you can do it. No, there's not enough guys. And I don't have enough... If I had a little bit more tubes, I would have wiped it. Oh, what a shame. I can't kill anything anymore. They all ran away already. Filthy cowards. How'd you lose 5% discipline? My ruler was strict. My current ruler is a zealot. That would have been a wipe if I had... Um, a little bit more tubes in there. Yeah, that... That merits this scream. Hey, forts are holding. Let's go over there. Again. And maybe get a couple guys to go and siege my stuff here. Roll a little higher. I don't think rolling higher would have made a difference. Maybe get the hockey pilata to the front line. Because, I mean, he's not landing anymore, so... So time to overstack more? Yeah. I think so. Although I am starting to lose manpower now. Because of that. But like, normally when I'm fighting stacks like this, I don't need... It's just that that stack was so fucking big, right? Like, nor I already outnumbered him 2 to 1 now, so if I... Yeah. Not form Scandinavia? Um, so I couldn't form Scandinavia because you need to be... You need to be um, Scandinavian culture for that. And I'm not. I'm Norse, which is in the lost culture group. So I've been trying to culture flip because they don't want to unstate everything, right? So I'm uh, flipping everything to finish. So I can show you the Scandinavian uh, missions. As well as the Scandinavian uh, idea set, which is even better than my current one. Just need more stacks? No, because I, if I get more stacks, there's no way I can maintain that with manpower. And there's also no way I can maintain that with money. I'm losing 52 buckets a month. Because I'm pretty sure the, yeah, the copper price went back to normal. So I can't, I can't get more tricks.
I wish my cold would go away. I had the sniffles for a week. Wrong order! Just from Scandinavian accent? No, I can I can do it right now. And there's an achievement to get. Um, there's an achievement to get. Um, 80 Carolians as uh, Sweden. So I need to switch Finnish so I can get Carolians. Because I want that achievement still. Get out of here. Now with that extra... Yeah, okay, so now we're only losing 30 ducats a month. That's fine. Nice. Uh, I would like you to get your tick of morale before you move in. Can get that achievement in Scandinavia as well. Uh, I was told I needed to stay Sweden, so. <laughs> Don, thank you for the bits. Tip matters to you, sir. Fat the sniffles for a week. Father Warrior just got the event Air Falls Hill. Oh god! Mahaki Pelita! No! No, Mahaki! Haka! Haka Pelita Perkala! No! Alright. Am I gonna get them back? Three years. That's not so bad. Ultimate troops ruining that battle for me. But we're, I mean, we're pretty close to getting finished. I think once uh, the Norse gets done, we should be we should have it. Yeah, that's not going to be done until 1620, though. Maybe switch some more like this. Can always unstate something. Yeah, my poor horses. Oh god. This could be a very dangerous spot. Can you finish that siege? And not attract any enemies by merging this army together? What about Botek? Yeah, Botek's great and all that, but um, Finlandification of my land is more important. We should have built a fort in this area. It would have made our enemies moving around a lot more awkward. If I can take Neubrandenburg, they're already gonna have that. We're already gonna have achieved that, so I should really try to take Neubrandenburg. At the same time, okay, they all left this area. Try taking this. There's a lot of enemies around here now. At one point, they're gonna grow a set and attack. Eh. Eh. Walk away, walk away. Is Alta close to piecing out? I hope so, because when they do, we can, we can piece out. Is this flat terrain? Yeah, it is. When will they leave? 29th. to attack my 1k stacks, please. Yeah, I can't save those. Okay. 
It's another army blasted. Let's also go blast you. Are the Norse still on the Caribbean? I think it's occupied. Yeah. <laughs> I would have assumed it was occupied. Okay, cute. Another decent little stack up. Let's go down here. I might need Rupin as well. And to unseize this stuff, so. Right, we got Neubrandenburg, and there's a lot of enemies in this now. But I don't think they'll be like stuck or anything like that. Let's try and save. Uh... Come on, get out of here. Oh! Wait, how am I stuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's not good. What if I move you in here? And then move you like that, and then we can attach you to the second army. So we can walk straight through the zone of control that shouldn't have existed to begin with. And I'm gonna reinforce that so they don't try to walk in. Don't walk in. Don't walk in. Stop it. No. Okay, shit. Uh, we'll merge them together and retreat somewhere. Because now everyone and their mother is going to walk in. That's not a battle we want. Okay. We want to try fighting some of them separately from each other. I don't actually want to walk in here. I just want to enter this province. Oh! But this could be good if these leave. When will they leave? 15th. I don't know what's marching in here, but... Most of them will leave, and then we can maybe kill that. What? Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. I have to retake that. Uh, we'll need to use speedboats for that. I didn't notice that at all. I'm too zoned in over here. I'll do Giga Chat. I'll put it nothing, they just died. <laughs> okay. Forty seven days on Riazan? Oh, Riazan is just a a random fort somewhere. That's not one of my real forts. That's fine, but I gotta I gotta speedboat my way over to Ottelsburg, like qu very quickly. Otherwise, we're going to come home from a very cold carnival. Hey! Uh, they took Verdun as well. Nasty. I think they got that very early. Hey, Ortelsburg's been retaken. Let's protect our front. I need you guys to go pick up these and stack wipe the poles there. This we can easily kill. The Verdun Indians, that is. Well, we would easily kill that, but it's taking slightly too long, so the other reinforcements are going to come in, so we'll have to retreat there as well. They're a little bit too close to each other. I need them spread out a little bit more. Alright, go in. You don't have to use force much. Are the other forts holding? 
Uh, after this one, we'll need to get to Palette's... This thing. Maybe shouldn't have advanced the front. Uh, no, that doesn't really make that much of a difference. This is the front. You'll need some sieges, otherwise you can't... Um... That is bad. <laughs> Otherwise, they still won't be able to peace out. Alright, so we'll want to get over to Palechka to quickly hold that. Britain's here with the Royal Navy. Let's go repair our boats. I'd like him to leave, but I don't think he will. Uh, and this this is killable. Once I get my morale tick. How many ramparts did I build? Uh, on every single fort except... Okay, he already leaves. I think on every single fort except Rojev or something? No, on everyone except this one. So naturally, that's where we're fighting next. I wonder if, if they'll reinforce this properly. So let's try marching in. Ah, they will. Shit. I thought we could maybe get that wipe real quick. Okay, stack wipe these. Um, yeah, just kill some more crap and then come back. Maybe you should hire some leaders? Uh, I could, but the thing is, my AT is not at 90 yet, or 100. So I want it to be a little bit higher. But what I really want is this army to spread out a little bit more. Go kill that. Uh, is this on defensive? It is. Are you gonna hold it? He's gonna have a teacher on in 10 days. We're gonna get there on the 19th. Okay, that's good. Ah, but he's already here. How much time will we have? Not a lot. No, no, let's not fight that one. That's stupid. They're, they're too close by. Hey, right, stack wipe the small guns. Come on, spread those units out a little bit, buddy. Okay, right, now I'm just gonna fight this. He might end up reinforcing it with um, the army that's on this. Or not, in which case this just dies. Cool. It's 40k down the drain. You're gonna have a field day over here. Yeah, I definitely should have built a fort in Stargard or something, because it could have held. Current losses? Uh they've lost 2.6 million versus our 277, because I'm not counting the Ottoman losses. Because literally all they've been doing is dying. But yeah, kind of annoyed at the uh, at them doing that shit, like joining the war. That is super nasty. Um, I'd like to use these dudes, but. Can't yet. Yeah, unfortunately, we won't make it there before he does. But we can still kill the Swiss. Hey, got a cute little stack wipe. 
Yeah, we lost Hamburg. It took them quite a while to siege it down, though, so... After they leave, I'll just retake it. Because it's kind of an important city. Mama, you leave? Okay. Right, on the ninth. Yeah. Good. More to think of some 45 months in a row. Tip matters to you, sir. How does the combat feel? Like a breath of fresh air. It is absolutely epic. I love it. Now you're gonna walk like that. I'm, well, how's that turtle troop count? It's no longer at a million, so slowly whittling them down, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think they're on their last legs. <laughs> I want to stack wipe that Austrian stack, but I'll need more troops in there. When will you leave? 28. That'll do. Thanks, Alto, for the help. Fuck Alto. They shouldn't have got- Whoa! Okay. That's not what I wanted to have happen at all. Alright, but they move off. Let's turn off the force march. How are the other forts doing? Yeah, they're holding? More losses than World War I? Ah, uh, you're gonna want to add a zero to that. If you want more losses than World War I. Can I afford to kill the Hamburgen stack? No, because Ortelsburg is in trouble. So march over there. How's the siege Oh, fuck, Hamburg- Uh, never mind. Hamburg's gonna fall at the next stick. How's Ortelsburg doing? Uh, Ortelsburg is fine, but Hamburg would fall like right now if I don't fight it. And I just spent 50 mil on sieging this, so... Save that. I'd love to use my speedboats uh, to get to the next what siege as well. Alright, let me go do this. So I'm only bringing the fully fleshed units. And we'll try sailing. Whoa! Okay. Did not notice that in the slightest. But yeah, he should be able to make it to Pelechka. Okay. Come on, my speedboats. And hopefully Britain will get the fuck out of the Baltic now. And... Force march in there. Alright, Ortelsberg's holding. Hopefully. And now Rujev is at 7% too, so we really gotta hurry this up now. Right, fighting the British Navy, we're gonna want to retreat on the 21st of February. Or we sink it, but doubt that's gonna happen. Make sure we sortie over here. Oh, they walked away at the last second. That's a shame. Oh, it actually shows all of the modifiers if you click on the battle now. That's nice. Wait. Am I beating it? I mean, I sank three heavies. It's not bad. 
Alright, we save this. I'm gonna turn off the force march and march to Rajev. Alright, saved Ortelsburg, so now we can go liberate uh, Upita. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? How are you even allowed to do this? What the hell? No. No, 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 no. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I need to get those guys back. That was my uh, zero strength regiment. Ah, uh, that's a lot of crap, but whatever. Maybe you wanted to take care of the Norway invasion. Isn't it almost uh, time for the Haka Pil Pilata again? Yeah, 1st of uh, November. We can get them back. Don't use Force March here. And you can afford to wait for your tick. Now, if this is not a wipe, I'm stealing the units. But it is. So I can't steal the garrison. Well, maybe you can in this match, actually. Hold on. No. No. Oh, well, you can. What the hell? Oh. Uh, okay. Apparently you can also yoink the garrison if you do a stack wipe. Perfect. Yeah, a lot of these sieges are getting awfully close to finishing now. It's not what I wanted to see at all. <laughs> is the next uh, thing going to be any good? What is that going to get me? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do embrace economic theory, I think. Scotland and Norway, only a small stack. I know, I know, I know. They have been doing that. Yeah, Otto really helping, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They're not giving the enemy free war score at all, no! The help! We're getting really carried here! Fucking feeding teammates, Jesus Christ. Report, please! Nine times! Alright, uh, let's go get our speedboats, because I want to get to Hamburg. I'm gonna surprise this army here. Fuck. That's not good. I didn't land nearly enough guys, and now we can't use more speedboats because they're intercepting me. Can you like steal the garrison? Again? Yeah! Again! Hog, let's go. Ah, uh, but you know what? It ended up buffing out because they did move off of um, the province, so... I could have set something up where uh, they would be sieging down, like they siege down uh, Dick Marchen, and then they walk in this, I retake it, and then they're trapped there. Uh, any more forts over here that need saving? No. I mean, if it's just the Royal Navy, we can probably sink it. Also, gonna get like five guys to go deal with this.
Yeah, I'm gonna try fighting this. And you guys can just walk. Actually. Okay. Yo, I think we're gonna crush him. I think we're gonna crush him. Come on, my Vikings! What's the AT? Oh, that's a fair point. It's 99.7. Time to get our 6-6. Six, six. Who wants it? Pass. -o. Q get. Come on, Philippi. Plus one shock. Rot gear. It's 5-5. Five five. And the final one. Taib. 9 9 9 9 Still, we got a 5-5, five five, which is... <laughs> An upgrade over that guy. Wait, where did some of my cannons go? Are, they, are we carrying those, or are you in here? Are they in here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah they're in here. Yeah. Did Otto peace out? No. If Otto peaced out, I would instantly win the war. And we won the naval battle! All right, that is proof of concept. So I'm gonna build more galleys. Ban me? What what I do? <laughs> Did just straight up walk away now? Flurry dot 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 dot. What I do? Really don't like that he starts the sieges at negative seven. It's kinda ass. How's that war exhaustion? can't click on things. The screen is completely broken. I auto is on low, they should peace out soon. that general not a moment too soon. Okay. Stack up some Frenchmen. If I can get you to recover a little bit. And these sieges are holding. Yeah. And now that I move my army away from that area, they're gonna stop trying to constantly sit here with a million dudes. Did I not wipe that? That's crazy. I need a repair tick. Okay. Now, do I try? I think we should try and stack wipe uh, the Austrians in Verdun. Because that's nice and grassland, and if they try to reinforce, they'll die. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Lauenberg, come on, no, give me access, man. Jeez. Just walk like this. How is this faster? 19th of October. 
11th of October. What, what the? Why would you walk the? What? What? I don't. Okay. Anyway. I mean, I guess I'll get the production efficiency thing. Or the domestic trade power. Oh! No! We embrace free trade. And now, I'll get to use the improved inland routes. Not that that really helps me too much here. Uh, I'm gonna move the guy from Novgorod in here. And we're gonna use... No, not established communities. Improved inland routes, yeah. Are you gonna get that? Nope. Okay. Let's charge in. Holy sus. Holy sus. Okay. Yeah, you better start squirming. Boom. Yeah, month tick, and then we go in here. Stack wipe that, stack wipe that. Rinse repeat. How are the other forts holding? Ah, uh, Upita, Upita, why is Upita always falling? Right, and then straight up into Hamburg after that. Okay, he didn't get a 14. Boom. Uh, let's make sure Mecklenburg is holding. And then we'll shimmy shimmy our troops next to Utipa, Op Op Opita because it's, uh, it's dropping like a rock. These poles know how to fight, man. I don't know if this is gonna be a wipe. I don't think so. No, they're holding way too hard. Yeah. Can you get out? Thank you. Uh. Just split these up. Get the zero strength regiments out of here. Do I have enough to ship that? I do. Perfect. I have exactly enough to ship that. Uh, Mita was the fastest way there. Yeah. Mita was the fastest way there, but if we go for Mamo, then we can land two armies. Also, new leader. You guys are going over there. I'm gonna pick up these so we can save Ortelberg. He already leaves. He already leaves. Okay. No, 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 no. Pourquoi non? No, no, no. Oh, ça, c'est un petit peu problème. Okay. Well, I mean, I greatly outmorale him, so... It's just that my boats are a little bit outdated. Army sunk? There's no army on this. Yeah. So now you see why I didn't want to use my speedboats. Because it gives him a reason to move his navy into my face. Hey, how are you getting the... Because Newfoundland's in here, they're getting the naval combat bonus off of own coast. Because that somehow applies everywhere on the world. Build a flagship and 50 more galleys. Yeah, with what money? I'm building galleys. Uh, 
Uh, and seems to red, so I'm getting out of here. Is it the monument in Shayla? No, it's just bugged. The thing is bugged. It doesn't give them combat bonus off of owned ghost. It gives them combat bonus everywhere. It's global. It even gives them combat bonus of our own coast in the North Sea. It's actually just broken. But that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Just need Alto to leave, man. Please, Alto. Peace out. I don't want your help. Ooh, mercantile reforms. Uh, sure. I'll get the trade efficiency. More money. Some Dutch right there. Can go wipe those. Uh, do get your month sick, please. Yeah. I mean, it's not on their coast, right? It's off their coast, not broken at all. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's off their coast. Okay, yeah, cool. Stack up some more Dutchmen. No, 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 don't, don't, don't be fighting that for no reason. Are the other forts holding? Yeah, 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 we're fine. I'd like Berlin occupied and Rupen because we, that way we can get a little bit of breathing space here and he's going to stop sieging this down. This is free real estate. Let's just quickly go kill that. Right? Remember my Merc have? Yeah, but now that would put me over the limit. Oh. I'm not leaving. Thank you for something for 58 months in a row. Tip matter to you, sir. I think they're down to a million and a half now. Far cry from the two million they started with. Alright, go for Rupin. Nice to Aisu, thank you for some for 21 months in a row. Tip matters to you, sir. I mean, legit. All two leaves and we just win. Well, I've already won if all two leaves. What's my discipline? Uh, 120. Okay. Other forts are holding. Good. Scotland wants to wait. Oh, they, 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 they were separate. Wow. Oh. They didn't even want to join the war, and th all they had was the Shetlands, and they c they've been one of the most effective enemies of this entire fucking thing. <laughs> but I don't want to, like, win the war by just winning battles. I want to actually be pushing into my enemies. Like, I really want to win, win, win. Yellow SZ4, thank you so much, Prime Gaming. Tip out to you, sir. Come on, Alto, peace the fuck out, dude. Unfortunately, I see this it really bothers me, and I don't know if I'll beat him to. Oh, shit. Just live? Thank you. I don't want to miss my breachings, though. Come on, just hold. Just hold. Oh, we got some of that. Sweden being Sweden again. Flurry will miss the autos when they leave. I fucking I'll miss them like toothache.
Yeah, the British Navy's in this as well now. We gotta, we gotta bail. Alright, Rupin! Is that a Dutch proverb? I figured that would work in other languages as well, but yeah. You can say like, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone or something, and then... You can say, yeah, I miss it like toothache, or something shitty is no longer the case, and then you can say, ah, oh, I miss it like toothache. God damn it! I got island trap. Well, not island trap, but straight crossing trolled. Los Rios on that doesn't matter. Come on, go in, go in, go in. Get it. Yeah, okay, we got it. So let's save Ortelsburg as well, and I think we can reset the others too. Okay. Verdun now on low. Okay, I need the hockey pilata right now. Where are they? What? Oh, November. Okay. Yeah, because the Dutch are trying to land on me now. Alright. Turn off the force march. Come on, Otto. Just peace the fuck out. You're on low. How much worse could you reckon they're getting off of him? Seventy-one percent. I think we're like actually. I think we're actually instantly gonna win the war once they leave. I got eighty more war galleys. I'm gonna get one more tick of repairs and then we're charging into this. Cute little stack wipe there. And the rest is holding, but the French are being very annoying in uh, Koluma. So, if you could march like so into Kolumna, that'd be great. I'd like my. Okay, we can't wait for the repair tick. Three days. Sweden's country number one. Check the devastation Constantinople. It shouldn't be that bad, it's only 22. Tank a manpower left. No problem. Alright. Now let's sink this guy. Yes! That's a lot of red. That's a whole lot of red. Come on, sink it. You wussy. You ran away. That's not very, uh... That's not very Nelson of you there. But, okay. Yeah, and the Dutch Special Marines actually kicked out my navy here. Hey, joining the garrison? I'm terrified that I'm gonna accidentally merge my army into the garrison. Okay. 
How's Kalamna doing? Alright, so... I'm gonna need you to force march there. Otherwise you won't make it. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, they are going the right way. Good. Can this fort please fall? <laughs> I'll just hang it out in the Baltic. Yeah, I told you they were no help. <laughs> they never are. They just sit there and then they die and then they're gonna be like, I did everything. Go deal with those filthy Dutchmen up there. Uh, if you accidentally overstack the garrison, it will just die next month. We are gonna make it there, it's good. Let's go clean this up. Horse time? Uh, yeah, but I don't have the money for it. Alright, global trade happened. We can finally deal with this shit. Uh, let me turn on the... Yeah, okay, we got the right edict. Hey, stack up the French in Columna, so... March back now. Let's go stack up some more French. I don't know why. I think he's got offensive ideas or something, but he's been really good at sieging. Yeah. Auto peace out. Auto peace out. Please, auto peace out. Auto peace out. Auto peace out. I should be able to say fuck you, right? Like, uh, he intervenes in the war, shouldn't I be able to say, just don't? <laughs> shouldn't he ask me, hey, do you want me to intervene? Like, why, why does he just automatically do it? <laughs> Fat is on medium? Yeah, he better be. He's gonna be a low once auto pieces out, because they'll have died. You smell of stinky feet. Now give me my Verdon back, because I spent 50 years sieging this. I want it back. It's mine. By right. That's rude. No, it's the truth. He smells of stinky feet and he almost made me lose the war. I need him to leave. I don't- I never asked for his help. Not once, not ever. I just want this man to go the fuck away. Can we statify some more stuff? We could statify four pommon. I can't core any of it because they're at war with all these people. And then we'll go siege on Bremen. Which we should be able to do. How's the money supply? I'm losing 38 ducats a month. Shit sick. Oh wow, they actually reinforced? Shit, that's not good. Stop it. Expensive battle, this. Also, this is a bad one. I think I'm gonna need to run here. Ah, it depends. Will they reinforce on time? Well, I can't retreat now, anyway. Yeah, they're gonna get there tomorrow. 
We gotta run. Alright, uh, I'm gonna stop rooting out corruption. And I'm gonna go do that. And we're gonna get the Haki Pilatata. Right there. Loans ain't coming. Oh, I haven't even begun to tap into the power of my nation. No, 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 no. Loans are not even remotely close. What do you need a- There you go! Fuck's sake. You idiot. Alright, peace out. We won. <laughs> Thank you for the help. What did he lose? He lost some shit though. No, he, he did. Look, he lost uh, Slavonian, he lost Dungey Kraji, and... No. Uh, he lost the uh, four provinces. <laughs> How do you get plus one roll on own terrain? By building a thing. Oh, and Italy as well? Oh yeah, he lost uh, some bits and pieces over here too. Yeah. Alright. But I kind of want to keep fighting. Yeah, okay. So now we get our real losses. This is nice. Although I'm not even sure if this is really my real losses, but... And how down are they? They've got uh, 1.4 million left. Still. Yeah, but the thing is, he's not on low yet, so why would I peace out now? <laughs> why would I peace out now? Actually, if we peace out now, we can speed 5 to, to maximum finish. And, uh, wait, who owns a galley on this? Poland does. Ten to one is kind of the threshold in a war like this, though. Like, if you were outnumbered more than more than 10 to 1, things start to get a little hairy because uh, you can't cover the entire front. Now, we can because we've got cogs, but we've got super speedy boats. Now, it's up to you. Do we peace out now and uh, show the Scandinavian mission tree and then head over to Teutonic Order? Or do you want me to go for 100%?
Ja, oké, okay, we'll peace out now. Ja, cool. I'm gonna take your money. I'm gonna take Hamburg. I'm gonna take Neubrandenburg. There you go. We beat all of them. There's no more coalition. They've all been beaten, and they have to leave us alone for a set amount of time. So, uh, rule out the corruption. Split up my guys. Gonna do some drilling. And we're gonna speed five now. <laughs> and instantly they start fighting each other again. <laughs> These people have no chill. No chill at all. Alright, you guys are gonna go protect trade in Lubeck. Thought this was the end. Yeah, almost, but I'm really close to getting Carolean, so... I just need a bit more culture conversions to finish. Oh yeah, and I would like to core everything. Thank you. Zero manpower? Ah, oh, that's only there for a little bit. Can Pagan Norse form Scandinavia? No, you have to flip back to Finnish or Swedish. But I think Swedish is gone. I guess I could revive it, maybe? Yeah, I could revive it. But I'm not gonna be doing that. I do wanna show- I don't, do wanna see the Scandinavian missions. Like, I don't know what those are all about. Um, slightly over the forest line, but I can mop all this navy, that's fine. What is the Karelian achievement? I think I need to have 80 Karelians or something like that. Where is it? Have 80 regiments of Karelians raised at the same time, which I should be able to do with all this finished dev that I got. Oh, and also... Sure. Let's go seize that and maybe dev a little bit. Alright, two more times. So now my autonomy is no longer ass. Although it was kind of at zero everywhere anyway. Need the allotment system too. Yeah, I know. Uh, we can get there. If I upgrade my guy to level 5, which I also should be able to do. Sure. The Scarolians only hire from Finnish culture? No, Swedish as well, but... Um, you know. Am I over the land force on it? No, I'm not. Uh, but we don't have any Swedish anymore because all my Swedish provinces got changed to Norse. No. If I wasn't rooting out corruption, would I be making money? Yes. Good. Naval force summit? I'm over the naval force summit, but it's not so bad. Okay. It's mostly expensive because of uh, our land force summit. And we can get rid of you as well. How good are Carolians compared to other units? Uh, let's see. I think they're pretty good, but the un in order for them to be really good, you also need 40% professionalism. So I'm also looking for that. It's a common bug. Yeah, it happens on everyone. Um, not sure if I want to keep finishing it. I mean, a lot of maintenance production would be nice, but... Oh, and whilst we're here trying to make some money, how about we switch our uh, thing? Active seclusion? <laughs> how about we go for the goods produced thing? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it's 40k manpower down the drain. Maybe get the trade efficiency guy?
Yeah, and I don't want to move my focus because I think we should move it onto mill. In fact, we'll move it onto mill now. And then I just need a level 3 guy, right? This should count as 16, no? Yeah, uh, we just need to have uh, 760 mil, and then we can click the reform the military button. How much money does my copper mine give me? It used to give me 23 ducats back uh, when the price of copper was twice as much. If you upgrade it, you can monopolize the copper price, and then you can double the price of copper, which effectively doubles your income. Really? You lost? <laughs> go at it again. There we go. Much better. Okay, so I just uh, finished the copper mine. So we should have it now. No, I need a little bit more. Um, well, I mean, I don't have the thing yet anyway. That's tech 14. So now we can build some trade stations. That should do wonders for my economy. No, you can't get Karelians with Norse culture. You can't. Okay, that's reform the military. So now we get uh, the allotment system. The allotment system in dealings for Ket is an organization system for the military which enables the quick mobilization of the country. Every 10th man between the age of 15 and 44 will be... Con Holy shit. Uh, will be conscripted as permanent part of the national infantry while the nobility except for their taxes have to provide with their cavalry. Due to the system, the usage of mercenaries has become less necessary. Well, you're mobilizing 10% of the population in fucking 1600. What the hell? The usage of mercenaries has become less necessary as, ne as there is now a standing army of Sweden. Eventually, the allotment system received a new formation, which makes the recruitment of potential soldiers province-based instead of ba based on villages. Every province of the Swedish Empire has to contribu contribute a regiment of 1200 Karelian units for the Swedish army. Great. Yo! Alright, let's check maximum manpower, 279. I actually didn't do that much. I, th I figured it would do more. What's the monthly gain now? 3.5. Alright, so we also have the allotment system. Where is it? It's in tier 4, right? What? Oh, it's in tier 5. Right. Yeah, may recruit Carolians. So how many can I build? 57. I'll need a little bit more than that. Having Svithjoth um, properly flipped is going to do wonders for us. Need way more culture converting? I just, I think if we can just dev. Also, maybe we can finish a mission to increase the amount. 800 finished dev. Yeah, don't I have 800 finished dev? No, 597. 579. That's gonna add another 52. Uh, so I guess we start deving this area then. Maybe I can like move the capital around. Wish I could see the culture here. Yeah, okay. 
This place is good. Uh, I would also like my merchants to be happy. So how about we give them uh, something? Um, I'll give them free enterprise. Yeah, they're gonna be happy soon. I'm gonna get you out, and I'll also need money to actually maintain that. I'm gonna keep building that as well. I mean, this isn't gonna make any progress here. Maybe just spread more finish like this? How close am I to flipping finish anyway? I mean, we're pretty close now. Yeah, I'll just keep devving uh, the land. Uh, Vesterbotten, is this Swedish? It is. I'll just keep devving it. Wait, 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 no, hold on. I'm pretty close to getting this. And then we can get universities. I'm just gonna take the loans then, because the campaign's kind of over. I want to wrap it up, so... I'm gonna grab this, we're gonna take the loans, we're gonna build the universities in the Swedish land. Why are we finishing the campaign with finish? Well, I mean, it's kind of in the name. Did I flip Novgorod to Swedish or Finnish? No. Valoon. The Walloons in Sweden? <laughs> sure. In 1614, the Walloon entrepreneur Louis de Heer set up shop in Sweden and undertook the development of the iron ore mining and foundries in northern Sweden. Uh, sure, welcome, Belgium. Now, we'll wait for those uh, unis to finish and then we'll dev more. Also, whilst we're waiting for that, give me more of those uh, fur provinces. Yeah, it'll pay back for itself, that's fine. In the meantime, more fins. Gots to have more fins. I six days and the units just finished, so we can and we've got the burgers happy. Look at that! All right, into the military you go. How much finished depth do we have now? 648. You need finished depth. Yeah, yeah, I know, but the cheapest provinces are all the ones where we have finished depth. Don't worry about it. Sure. It's morphin time. <laughs> Is the thingy tree going uh, to be no balls? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. 
48% now and 682. Now let's see how these currently... So the, is the maintenance higher than normal units or not? I want to see what these units are all about. They have regiment drill loss and 10% extra morale damage. And the maintenance, I think, is the same. Yeah, the maintenance is the same. So... Start to get rid of some normal units. Because they're just an upgraded version. Oh, fuck, the truth just ended. No! The truth just ended and I just disbanded the entire army. Lol. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do this. Wait, hold on, can I get an ally or something? Because I just want to finish this mission tree now, and I can't. No, 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 you don't want to. Here, I'll go ally Morocco. And uh, Songhai, so that they won't die immediately. This is why we don't play with allies. Alright, let's hope they don't dow, like, immediately. I'm gonna try adding another 30 normal infantry. I mean, at this point, they should have forgiven me, right? It's been so long. Yeah, Austria will not de won't even join. We're fine. We're completely fine. They it's not like they're gonna dow now. Nah, they're not gonna dow. We'll be okay. Don't worry about it. They're not gonna die. All right, and then give me all of my units and get them all together. Now, what do I need for that drill to Carolians mission? Fifty professionalism. Okay. Let's go get that. And gather up all of these guys as well. Maybe pay for the forts just in case. We split you up. Can I show Norse ideas? Sure. We've got uh, manpower recovery speed, war exhaustion, morale of navies, shock and awe, uh, development cost reduction, discipline, extra colonists, tolerance of the two faith, 15% infantry compatibility, morale of armies, and we can raid coasts. So it is really, really powerful. Did you just say may the gods favor you? This Subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Subscribe to Don <Dalai. laughs> Alright. Cool beans. So we're making money again. 
That's good. How is the finish and fumigation doing? 49% now. And the trade stations are about to finish. Nice. How's trade doing? Trade's doing all right. Uh, I need a merchant over here instead of in um, Lubeck. I'll make way more if I do that. I can't say no to that. How's my professionalism? All right. And how's the this? Yeah, I need another 50 development. I'm not using the edict here. Cycling Rhino, thank you for getting 15 subs, man. Tip, 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 tip. Welcome aboard. Are you finished? Yeah. Uh, we can flip finish now. It's good. Yeah, and we just need uh, Stockholm or uh, Svithjoth to finish the uh, get become Finnish and then we have it. Yeah, seems good. And now with all those extra forts finished, we've got uh, we kind of doubled our economy here, so it's good. Uh, give me a trade efficiency, dude. Check map power before and after flipping finish. I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. You think it's gonna make a big difference? Because it's still an accepted culture. Or does it specifically say for primary culture it's higher? Oh yeah! No, it's gonna be way higher actually. You're right. Alright, so let's flip finish now. So max manpower is 330. Alright, well, way higher is... It added 15. And now we could form the Scandinavian nation. Uh, I don't want to do that yet, because we need more Finns. Because I'm not at max Carolians yet. Uh, do I care about that? I kind of do also, I should have killed this guy. Does that matter? No. I can just click it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're finished Sweden with Norse ideas right now. Also, we should probably embrace global trade, actually. Let's quickly go do that. There we go. And that also gave me an extra merchant, which we can go park inside, oh, I don't know, fucking... Lubeck? Yeah, we'll park in the Lubeck. God damn, there's a lot of value in the... No, not in Lubeck. Park it in there. Yeah. Alright, seems good. Lazy armies? What? Oh shit, I've got some lazy armies, you're right. Here, keep drilling. Yeah, 
just three more years and then this will be done and then we'll have enough Carolians, I'm sure. Ooh, nice! Axel Oxensteiner! Uh, 300 money points of every type, I'll take it! And the coalition's finally collapsing too, so we don't have to worry about that. Getting a whole bunch of mill for free. And now what else do I need for this? Yeah, 80 regiments, that's it. Alright, time to move the camera. Wait, not, not yet. 76 Swedes? Fifth Yoth. December 1620, alright. Yeah, we can flip whenever now. <laughs> That's fine. Imagine if he had eco ideas, dude. You can you can really def Sweden to like amazing heights with eco. Cause uh Yeah, all of this is forest, and you get massive big dick discounts on that. From your mission tree. Expansion into the forest, Arctic expansion, it almost completely compensates for the fact that it's Arctic and a forest, so it's basically grassland now. What are Carolean bonuses? So, if I can get to 50 professionalism, which we almost do. Okay, there we go. Drill the Carolians. So now we can get the Nobility Privilege Carolian March and Carolian Charge. They are uh, units that have less drill loss. 25%. Uh, they do 10% more morale damage. If you combine this whilst owning Berlin... I think it is. No, not Berlin. Etchel? Inthal? No, that's just army drill gain, never mind. Alright, so anyway. Um, let's see what else we can make them do. Okay, that gives them la- Ooh, what? 15% extra shock damage and 20% morale damage. But then we can have less of them. And we don't need those things for the achievements, so I'm not going to click that yet. Unfortunately, this will make all, all of our Norse disappear forever. Oh, nice. You can't have both? You can't have both? Oh, I see. Uh, then I think we'd go for the shock damage increase. <coughs> You're fucking joking. I don't have time for this. I'm not gonna fight this war. Do we have enough for this? Yeah. Alright, let's just go build the Carolians. And, uh... Peace out, and then we'll give them... What am I even at war with here? How did you even get the balls to declare? Oh, come on. Seriously? Bird? Nah. I'm not gonna bird this shit. Oh, no, no, no! The achievement! The achievement! No! Alright, we got it. <laughs> Super trooper! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, it kind of blows, but we got the achievement, so there you go. Okay, well, um, could you just, like, leave? Oh, and uh, now we can prick, click the button, actually. I wonder if that's gonna change. So if I get the extra shock damage increase... Yeah, okay, you can't have, you can't have both. Will you change to normal units? 
No, you won't. So we just get the extra shock damage now. Yeah, maybe I can quickly go end this war. Uh, I don't have full morale on these. Wait, was I gonna win that one? It kinda looked like I was gonna win that one. You can have both! Oh, you can have both! Oh, there you go. Alright, force my way over there. I wonder if this is all the Austrians. I wonder if we'll win that, considering... Our zero morale. No! <laughs> now, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sweden is not overpowered. Not overpowered in the slightest. Show the world. Uh, I would if I could, but uh, yeah, one second. I can actually just go show you the world. I can show you the world. lose this so now oh, for the love of god I can't speed five these boys man it's Berlin I was just about to form Scandinavia, and then they did this. So sad. Okay. Uh, just assign that dude and head over there. They want the Caribbeans, just give it to them? No, they don't want the Caribbean. I don't even know what they want. They want Panama. It's not like that's gonna let me peace out though. Like they want me to give away my Swedish clay. I don't I don't feel like giving them that, man. How's the Warsker so far? Yeah. But I also want the war to be over quickly. made a little landing on Scandinavia. Can you force march your way over there? And I might want to unmothball my navy as well. Now you can take a little detour to go kill that. Seven percent of my capital. Get out. Get out. Oh wow, we get the absolutism. Jesus. But you also get plus twenty, so I get like what? How much? Yeah, so I've got all these uh, 
all these estate privileges and I'm still at 50. That's kind of crazy. Give my capital back. Sure. Hey, okay, we can get some more stack wraps up there. Really hoping they're gonna leave soon. Like I don't wanna. Down. Could you stop sieging down my capital? <laughs> I'm gonna get the hockey pelatata and put them over in uh, in Norway. They sure are taking their sweet time. No, 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 not, don't do the autonomous thing. Do this. Yeah. Wait, are you doing it now? Oh, you are now. Okay. I don't know who to do the Polish uh, tree with. We could do the Polish tree with like literally anyone, so. Maybe, maybe like actually play with Poland to do the Polish mission tree. Like maybe Mazovia? Mazovia was so much fun. Do the Polish mission tree is Saxony. You can separate piece out. Yeah, but that's gonna make it harder for me to piece him out, no? Maybe not. So you're on low, you're gonna give me money on war app. And then we can pay off some more of those loans. Watch this beat 5 so annoying. I, I'm sorry, but I just wanna form Scandinavia without surrendering to them. It is really fast, though. Why don't you fight this? I don't get it. Just surrender? No. It's not my shtick. No, the flying fuck happened in Italy? Oh my god, France inherited Naples. That's what happened. <laughs> to hell. So maybe get the leather cannon and the Gallup cavalry. How about that? Alright, we got Bremen and Perinia, so you can now eat this. And uh, go siege down Madrid. Alright, we need Valencia first. How happy are you about the war still? 33%. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, Valencia, so now can we enter Madrid? Now we need Toledo. And hopefully that'll do the trick for us. Whoa! Okay. Toledo, Madrid. And maybe a little bit more 
Morse code from battles up here. He's still so happy about everything. This guy is nuts, dude. No! Swedish um, dudes. I forgot they had a unique age thing. So now he's on medium, but that's still not good enough. Ooh, don't know about this one. Okay, no, worked out just fine. Our bona will fall? Yeah, let's head over there. So, uh, get that extra discipline, guy. Alright, say so you're gonna save that, and then you're gonna head back over to Toledo. Is it 12 still? Got that another wipe. I'm gonna go split these up. Uh, maybe he's teaching on Tia for a little bit of extra war score. That'll do. Okay. Four. He's at nine. Why is the war score ticking now? The war score is ticking down because they have the war goal, because they declare war for Panama. Alright, he's on three. We can piece him out. There you go. Alright. So, now we can finally form Scandinavia. <laughs> and take a look at their new missions. Yes! And I would also like their new ideas. So, we're gonna say goodbye to Norse. Yes, please. And instead we get Scandinavian, which is a direct upgrade that gives goods produced, national vampire modifier, discipline. We get construction cost and global possible building. So now every place has a building slot. Perfect. We also get uh, admin efficiency and possible policies. Get trade efficiency, ship durability, 20% morale of navies instead of 15. Get 15% cav cost and 5% cavalry fire. 20% infantry combat ability, up from 15, and we get 10 max absentism and plus 1 yearly absentism. So, it's incredibly easy as Sweden to have 100% uh, uh, max absentism. Look at this, we already have it, it's perfect, it's amazing. Alright, and let's see. Whoa! Okay, there's actually a bunch of stuff you can do. Enables the... Ma Merchant Guild Privilege Mountain Expansion. <laughs> Lol. Wait, oh, it only reduces the penalty. Does it? Oh, no, no, no. It reduces the penalty by 50%. So it doesn't remove it. It just halves the penalty. Okay. That mission line is so good. Ooh. Okay. Fuck. Let's quickly do this and see what happens. Because it fires an event. I'd be curious to see what that does. Wait, do I even need this place? Do I need Vestlandet? Yeah, yeah. Hey. 
Okay, that place is already 10. Event won't fire right away, you'll need time? Oh, okay. Well, okay. If I'm gonna do anything, you'll need time. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, you get events that cost 50 or 75. I'm gonna give you a choice between copper and iron as the goods produced for Norwegian provinces. Okay, that's, that's good. Handle the empire. Less than one member. Okay, so I need to either need to dismantle the HRE or become it. If you get successful bid for the Imperial Crown, you get prestige and diplo rep. Otherwise, you get claims on uh, a bunch of stuff. If we complete the mission by ensuring that the areas of North Brabant, Friesland, and Holland are part of the HRE, we get 25% Imperial Authority, 50% Imperial Authority growth, or you get years of separatism and goods produced. All right, seems good. Refine the Karelians. Have 75% armed professionalism. And then what? Oh! Okay, so you make the Karelians even better. So you can get more of them. And uh, land maintenance goes down. Perfect. And all you need is 75% uh, professionalism. Which you already need like 50 for this, so it's fine. You need to hire these for 60 months, and then you need to have 20% calf compatibility and 50,000 cavalry. But then you get three of them? Okay. Seems good. Oh, 20% or 50k. Oh, I see. Yeah. Recover the borders. Okay, so this whole... HRE thing is determined on how you want to do it. Like, either integrate it or either become the emperor or start conquering the HRE. Yeah, so if you complete this mission by conquest, you get a whole bunch of claims still. And then when you finish everything, basically conquer Germany or proclaim Erbkaiser tomb. Huh! 15% golf cap, 25% income from vassals, and provinces of Germanic culture will not suffer penalties of unaccepted culture. Pong. And 25 perma PP, which at that point you're gonna be so strong that uh, you can't get rivals anyway. Danish shipbuilding. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, and it gives you two building slots, so you can actually have the shipyard and the dock. Yeah. Oh, and if you finish Maritime, you get Norwegian Sailor's Naval Doctrine, okay. But I, I wouldn't know why you would want to- Oh, do I get to keep this thing, by the way? I don't know, I didn't check. I don't think so. Let's take a look. Is this Brr still? Alright, and everyone leaves the coalition. No. No, so we lose the speedboats. That's sad. But do I still get to do that thing? Embedded Norse Culture, or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah, I do! Because <laughs> I'm still Norse, so you can still raid, no matter what. Alright, that's pretty funny. Alright. By the way, the mission tree is unique depending on Sweden, Denmark, or Norway, or someone else forms it. Oh, okay, I had no idea. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then if you do this, you get the Vaza. Alright, well. Seems good. I don't think any of the other missions are different, but... There you go. Alright, well! That has been Scandinavia, and now we take off this hat and we go for the Teutons. Oh my god, the Mughals are big. Yeah, they are very big. They ate all of Muscovy. But time for Deus Vult. Time for Deus Vult. Oh, a lot of fun campaign this was. This was great. This was great. And we got an achievement too. Nice. 
Yeah, Swedish Space Marines are really, really, really strong. I can't wait to try Smolensk and cannons, but today we're going to be doing cavalry. Get a Pope hat. I don't know, I don't have, I don't really have a good Teutonic hat. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a good team telling that. Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, shit, put the cable, no, so I want another cup of coffee. You can't form Prussia though if you go the Holy Horde route. I'm not intending to form Prussia, if anything I'll form Poland, but I'm not sure. Alright, very hard difficulty is engaged, let's jump right into this. Um, I think the Teutonic Order is pretty damn powerful, so I'm not gonna have allies. But, it's up to you if you want to see lone gameplay or not. Oh, or do I need to ally uh, Livonia? I think you guys want to see loans today. <laughs> we can play without. I, I'm sure we'll succeed, but... I gotta... Okay, so how about Livonia is my only ally. Now you can rival and kill Liv? Do we ally Liv or... Is it gonna be Liv, bro? Or is it gonna be Liv subject? If I check the mission, what the f Okay. What the f Okay, well, apparently I can ally him and then I can... Okay. Let's just ally him and then maybe we can... We can subjugate him or something. We can unify the orders. Okay, we'll, we'll ally him because uh, I think it's the fun part of the mission. <laughs> If you ally and have 180 opinion and 80 trust. Jesus. Okay, well that's gonna take some time. But I feel like from a role play perspective, it makes no sense that I kill him. Alright? So... Don't ally, oh my fucking god! Just rival and vassalize. Hey, listen, listen. You don't have to... You don't have to put all this... Just need to ally in 150 relations. Okay. Okay. Well, let's do it. 
I'll have uh, Livonia as an exception because it makes it makes sense. And uh, we'll allow we'll allow uh, loans, but no allies because that's the sentiment that I that I'm uh, that's the vibe I'm getting here. So we're gonna rival Poland, and we're also gonna rival Lith in the hopes that they don't, you know, don't pick the Union, but that's gonna be fun times. Yeah, I need the Diprev guy, I'm aware. Okay, so let me go and do my states. Wait. How do I need to... There's gonna be a disaster, right? How do I stop that? Seek Imperial Protection. Wait, do I have to do this? I don't want this shit. I don't, I don't, I don't want that shit. I need 40 crown lands? You need crown land and stab. Okay, hold on. Let's first improve relations with Austria. So you're saying I need crown land and stab, so let's not do our estates yet. Handle the confederate. Oh, okay, here it is. Following our defeat at the Battle of Grunwald in 1410, our noble order was forced into paying war repairs to the King of Poland. As this brought us close to financial ruin, the Hochmeister had to do what was necessary, increase the taxes of the estates in the cities. Naturally, the estates, especially the burghers, were outraged about it. Eventually, the estates gathered together in the Prussian city of Elbing and founded the Prussian Federation in 1440. Do the mission anyway, it gives a bonus for not joining. Okay, cool. Ever since the Confederation is working on sabotaging our order by financially supporting our arch nemesis, the Kingdom of Poland. If we want to persist, we have to handle this Confederation. Okay, so what? I always find this so hard to read. One of the following must be true. All of the following must be true. Stability at least one. Fewer rebels than one. No particularists. Land owned by the crown at least 40%. Tutanic Order does not have burgers estate. Not granted estate privilege concede to the Prussian Federation. I just need 40 crown land and plus one stab. Okay. Well, we can do other estates, just not things that cost me shit. So I'm gonna do religious diplomats. And that's it. And then as far as you're concerned, I'll get the supremacy of the monastic order. Can we change the music, please? Yeah, sure. What music shall we listen to today? Um, how about the Crusader soundtrack? Not Crusader Kings 3. Or 2 OST. Let's do that. Yeah, they need to add some pointers or something. Or at least, like, different color text. Okay, one of the, all of the following must be true, and then have it differently colored or some shit. I don't fucking know. The, this is weird. All right, and what do we get for this? Two tonic persistence, fort defense, and shock damage received. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What's this? This mission cannot be completed as it's a branching mission. What? But how do I unlock it? Yeah, whatever. Maybe I'll get an event or something. Okay, so let's go do Supremacy of the Crown. Oh, defeat the Poland mission? Oh, unlocks the rest of the mission tree. Okay. And then we get an event. Okay, seems good. Yeah, okay. Okay. Makes sense. Right, uh, let's do Supremacy of the Monastic Order. And we're not gonna do anything with it. Uh, maybe get pictures of the arts, that's fine. Enemy seize. Yeah, because we need another 5% crown land. Alright, our focus is obviously need to go on mill. Uh, there can be no question about it. And uh, Jesus, I've got so many forts. Do I even have a fort on this? No. Uh, we also have some boats. I would like to go protect trade in the Baltic. And then I would like to have you guys hunt pirates in the Baltic. And both stay home during war. Right, and then we do have a truce with uh, Poland for a little bit, and we own two provinces in par that are part of the HP. Let's uh, not remove those yet. Check of Gotland went pirate. Okay, they went pirate. I think they always go pirate. And right, we'll get some money. Seems good. We got a pretty good air. 
What? Our battles against pagan Lithuanians in the last century attracted many great knights from Western Europe, especially those from the kingdoms of France and England. Their seasonal crusading journeys to the Baltic gained them the term Reise, which translates as campaign. Eventually, the Lithuanians abandoned. Ah, unplayable! Unplayable! Eventually, the Lithuanians abandoned it. Okay, their pagan faith and converted to Christianity. Uh, which put an end to these campaigns of Europe's greatest knights. For many, the time for many, the time of crusading military orders is coming to an end, and we will be seen as a relic of the past. But for now, for one last time, let us call the knights of Europe to their last rise. Let us just, let us cherish, let us celebrate the legacy of Europe's knights. Cool. Seems good. Peaceful tourists. Where's Patch ever? <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna also go improve relations with this guy. And I still need that dip rep guy. Yep. Alright, he appears to have some, uh, some guys that he needs to go deal with. That's, uh, not pay for my army. What does my army comprise of? Okay, that's fine. Oh, the situation of the Teutonic Order. The Teutonic Order, an order of noble German knights, was established on the Baltic coast in order to Christianize the local tribes. Although this mission was completed decades ago, we have decided to stay in the land of the old Prussians and make it our home. However, much to the displeasure of Poland. In the last 40 years, our order has fought four wars against Poland and its allies as a result of the recent setbacks. Resulting from these wars, the rich cities of Prussia are plotting against our authority. The Prussian Confederation is a looming threat which will need to be dealt with swiftly. But not all looks grim for us. The Teutonic Order is at a crossroads of its future. If we manage to defeat the Polish threat, our order will be in a position to choose a new path. Alright. The Teutonic Order has a unique mission tree which is highly flexible. After finishing the mission defeat Poland, we will receive an event which allows the replacement of the branching missions with missions from one of the two following paths. The Prussian path is one about secularizing and dissolving the Teutonic Order and reforming into the nation of Prussia. It will reform around maintaining one of the strongest armies of history as well as expanding the development of the Prussian lands. It will also lead into a new branching path which will let you decide if you want to do Diplomacy of the HRE, expand it to Germany and unify the Germans, or forge your own faith, fate as the Kingdom of Prussia in Poland and Ruthenia. Crusading Path is one about sticking to the purpose of the Order. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that one. Definitely, we're gonna be doing that one, okay? And I still don't have my Statesman. Give me my Statesman, <laughs> please. Okay, so I need 150 relations and a dip rep guy. That's what... Wait, what? Did you say local, local noble? Okay, no. <laughs> I was about to say. I would restart if that happens, because I think that's lame. Now we can no longer rival Poland, so I guess we'll go rival... Fucking Staten or something? Rival Novgorod. They rivaled us. We'll rival them straight back. And we'll... What? Okay. Was machen Sie denn, Kollegen? Why don't you... <laughs> Easy money? Well, it would be. But... I don't have... Ah, um... oh, there's my statesman, by the way. Is this one very hard? Yeah, I only play him very hard. I don't know why he doesn't have an army. But yeah, they're part of the HRE, so I can't just fight it. Okay, France, England are at war, it seems good. And what is that choose to Poland over? December 49th. So I, I will be able to get rid of the shit right on time. And the equilibriums are pretty much good enough. I need to give these guys a little something. I'll give them right of council. Whatever. 
Otherwise they won't be happy now. Do I really want to pay for these fucking for- No, fuck no. How many countries have no army? Uh, Athens, Naxos, ODF, Lüneburg, Saxony, Nuremberg, Anissa, Bamberg, and Bamberg. That's it. Can you please confirm? Very hard difficulty, loans, mercenaries are allowed, allies with the exception of Livonia are not allowed, burning is not allowed. Yeah, sure. That seems good. I so... Do I have my dip guy? I do. So... What? Now I just send a skull for to Volgast or something? Let's make sure we get max relations. I don't know if that does anything, but... Oh, and also we can do this branching path. Seek Imperial Protection! Ugh. The relationship between the Teutonic Order and the Holy Roman Empire has always been superficial at best. Although we have attracted occasional sympathy and aid from the German lands, most of the emperors of the Holy Roman Empire have not paid us much attention. Nor have we bothered with them, focused as we are on our war against the pagans of the Baltics, after all. Occasionally, our battles have attracted mercenaries from the Empire, but not always favoring our side. At the Battle of Grunwald in 1410... Oh, as at the Battle of Grunwald in 1410. But... For the most part, though, our realms coexisted without much interaction. However, with the looming threat of the Polish Kingdom, it is time to reach out to the Emperor and seek Imperial protection. The question is, what demands might they make in agreeing to protect us? Better we ask. Bah! Bah! We are the Teutonic Order! We can handle Poland ourselves! Teutonic pride, let's go! Perfect. Empire, Schmempire, fuck off. I don't have anything to do with that. Okay, and the rest will go later on. Yeah. Okay. Seems good. We can stop improving relations then and start building up a spy network on the poles. Seems good. Yeah, execute the bailiff. Go for the mission, it's okay. I don't believe you. Do we need to have more troops than they do? Or something? I don't know, I haven't checked the script. Right, I'm gonna go send out Skonfo insult. Only dip rap matters. Only dip rap matters. Okay. Well, let's click it then. Although the Teutonic Order and Livonian Order are very similar in structure and purpose, there is one crucial difference. We have a strong economy and victories to show. The Livonian Order, on the other hand, had to be led to victory by us as was the case during the Battle of Ice in 1242. The Landmeister of the Livonian Order knows that we are strong, the, the stronger order in our alliance. Maybe he can be convinced to join forces with us under our rule. Okay, we'll offer them vassalization. If they accept, they become our vassal. Otherwise, we get a subjugation CB against the Livonian Order. Healthy a lot. Fuck that shit. Ah! Look at that! Well, that's okay. That is, um, uh, sure. Yeah, uh, easy clap. Okay. Well, let's go fire this guy now because I don't want to pay for him. I want to pay for the morale guy though. All right, so now what do I do with these? Because they're really freaking happy. I could march them, but I think I want to integrate them though. No, I think I want to integrate them after five years or ten years. Get Riga before the. Um, well, I'd have to tell him to go fabricate on that. Let's take a look at the Livonian missions. Do you get? How do you get a claim on Riga? Ah, uh, you need to fabricate on it, and then what? So I can give them two missionary strength. I don't know. What's the expand the army mission? Uh, it's a mission that I don't need to click yet. I'll do it later. Alright, for now we're just making some money. Can I rival Poland again now? Yeah, cool, we can rival Poland again, let's go. Epic. Very nice. Could also try to expand their trade fleet a little bit. Try and make some money that way. It kind of sucks that we have to start with, like, crown land and shit. Like, I don't want that. 
No, they'll just have to fabricate on it. <laughs> Not gonna give you dockets. Who are Polish allies? Uh... <laughs> Well, so much for getting Riga before the Swiss and Poland's over. I'm not gonna, like, fight him early. Alright, go protect trade in the Baltic. Where are you? Apparently have max bonus. Uh, also, this is my capital region, so... Pretty sure my balance is gonna improve if I click this. Ah! Strategy, ladies and gentlemen. That is great. So I haven't taken a look at the, uh, at this. Okay, so this is Tolerance of the True Faith, Manpower Recovery Speed, Mission to Civilize, Mission on the High Seas. This is really good. This is really good. This one's so overpowered, honestly, compared to the other ones. Like, this is... Alright. Mission to Protect... You have said nothing. Oh, this gives Settler chance now. That's really good. Huh. So, I think we're gonna do Mission of Protection. We don't have a lot of land to convert, though, but... The reform about education is bugged. It only gives the free policy slot from the slot plus monarch skill. What? New rulers will trigger education event. Okay, so that is bugged. But what what does it do? What? Education of the people. Education of the Okay. Uh so what you're saying is this is bugged? It gives plus one stat for one stat next to the air. It just bugs the first time you pick it. No, it's not bugged. It adds a roll of... Okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll pick that thing. Now, I'm not going to tech up before Poland dows because I don't want Poland to be... Well, originally part of Brandenburg, the Margraves have in the past first pawned and then transferred Neumark to us in order to raise money. Distant and plagued by robber barons, the province has been generally more trouble than it was worth for our order. We've received the province to pawn the province back over to Brandenburg. Should we accept that? It seems unlikely that we'll ever get Neumark back. Still, the elector is willing to pay good money for it, and we would certainly make good use of those funds. Uh, no, fuck you. Also, this gets removed from the HRE now, because screw this man, okay? Friendship ended with HRE. Good money. He's really pissed off now. <laughs> That's okay, though. Alright, and what do I need for this? Do I need two stab? No, just one stab. Let's stab up. And then I can finally fix my shit. What? Rebel uprising? Oh, no, no, no. Not on that. You can move your capital there and establish trade companies in Eastern Europe. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea at all. Because we need lots of merchants in this area, so... We might do that. I'm not gonna do that for the first war against Poland, though, because... Oh, speaking of which, the war is about to start, so let's do this. And also build up the force limit. Now, what are my ideas? Okay, I get... Wow, okay. I get 10% cavalry combat abilities. I'm gonna want to use horses from the start. We get 5% discipline. And when we finish everything, we get institution spread. I've got infantry cost, cavalry cost, manpower recovery speed, 10% infantry combat ability, 2% missionary strength, fort defense, extra missionary, and tell them to the two faith. Very nice. Rito... 1308, thank you for something with a tier 1 sub. Tip that to you, sir. Don't forget to seize before the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't. I, but I'm not gonna declare the war. I'm gonna let him down me, right? Do I do 7 and 11? I'm gonna want to go over the limit. Uh, not yet. 
I'll do 7 and 11, that's fine. Woo! Carl Joseph from Wassenberg, hello, wie geht's? Seven calves, not even, not an even number. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll fix it. No, I can't hear you. Okay. Well, I'm sick. Thank you for seven, uh, for seven months of romance. Tip that to you, sir. So, can we get anything good in this? We can get the Lithuanian company. Three, three, one, three. Or a two, three. Okay. So we don't, we're not going to get anything better than that. Sure. So we've got a CP on him now. I could just Dao him. Like his only ally is uh, Riga, so we could just be the one to Dao him. Right. Worth insulting Poland? Yes. You smell his stinky feet. Wait, no. I, I already did that. I, I have a tooth with him, so it doesn't count. Are we going to be the ones to doubt him, or does it... Seize? I, I can't, it's n October. Okay. Yeah, fuck, it's going to piss people off. Memo is Prussian. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Instead, I think I'm going to dev Ortelsberg, so at least these guys stay happy. Use that Devon Edict there. And if I just wait like one more month, these guys should be happy, right? Yeah, two more months. That's fine, right? Yeah, it'll take some time to tick out. Uh, unless they Dow, of course. But I like to live a little dangerously, so. I'm gonna wait. They're not gonna down me in the first month. And if they do, it'd be hilarious, so. <laughs> That's a win win for me. How fast is this ticking up? Yeah, pretty fast. Scottish? Scottish Livonia. No, I don't think I will. I'll use them. Alright, we can seize. And we can handle the Federation! Let's go! Prussian Federation will not rise up against us! Get 10 prestige! Get fucked! Alright. So I dealt with that, so we're not gonna lose half our country in a war. Seems good. And, uh... I think now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go, because right now I've got a tech advantage on Poland. I won't have that forever. So... We grab the tech. And we're gonna do our estates now. So, I'd like you to give me religious states. I uh, would also like primacy of the nobility. And... I'll pick land of commerce. But I'll pick it right before piecing out. So I don't get a million autonomy in this war. Okay. Use armor professionalism. Oh, we got ten. Yeah, okay, but I don't need the mercs right from the get-go. Is there any fort that you're not paying for? No, he's paying for everything. And we've got full claims on all of this so we can connect our lands. I'm not sure if that's the first thing I want to take. I kind of want to take this shit. This is really good land. Look at this. Look at this land. This, this land is ridiculous. Actually, there's one ridiculous province in it. This land is actually way better. Yeah, okay. So maybe we should just focus on our perma claims here. Yeah, okay. And the mission requires me to own land there? Or just four provinces anywhere? No, 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 okay. Uh, fine, we'll take that. I'm not gonna fabricate any more claims then. Livonia is also not paying for any forts. Would like to get a little bit more troops though. Like maybe two more. And then we'll declare a war. That's also gonna give me a little bit more time to uh, get my guys in order. Snake to Krakow? <laughs> we'll see. I think we're gonna mostly be following the- Are you joking? How is that even remotely allowed? 
Alright, we're also getting close to Riga and we're gonna blockade him so we can instantly piece him out, I think. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll gain that prestige. We also have plus three siege on this guy, so maybe I can just quickly take out Riga. Alright, let's go. Poland? Uh, I'll declare war for Dobrotsen or something. Wait, what's the most expensive province in this? Poznan, I think? Yeah, we'll declare war for Poznan. It's a capital, but it's... A, if we win, we either win because they run out of units and they die, or we win... We're not gonna, like, win-win, okay? I mean... Oh, hold on, how do I work this? We're not going to win with, like, 10% war score. It's, this, this is going to be total war or bust, okay? There's no in-between. Not gonna set Rika as a co-belligerent, because that's gonna bring you all... All over the Hansa, so I don't want to deal with that shit. Just gonna walk in here and take this out. Pick the morale clergy. Why? I'm not at war with heretics. Isn't it a bit early for Germans to go to total war? Nah. Also, war taxes, because it's free. Alright, so we're in. I'm assuming this is not enough to piece you out. It would be. But isn't this a great opportunity to join this? I feel like this is a great opportunity to join this. At the same time, right now we have a tech advantage, so we could really start to murder some Polish stacks. Take a while. Yeah, you're right. But I do have three siege. I could tell Livonia to go do it, sure. Are you gonna go do that? Buddy? Okay, he is. What kind of siege leader? He's using zero siege. The only issue is if I- You know what? Once they get close, like once it tur turns into the positives, I'll get the siege leader in there. Okay. And what are we looking at here? So, that is grassland. And it's got no leader. We have morale and we have a tech advantage. I think I can kill it before they can reinforce it. He's not even gonna try. He's not even gonna try because there's no hope for him. There's no way he gets this. This is dead. It's free real estate. I rolled a zero. <laughs> kind of less than stellar that, but... There's no way they survived. This is so dead. Yeah, okay, cool. And we got some extra professionalism. Perfect. Now this, I'm going to fight this. We're going to not be able to stack wipe, but I'm going to retreat out and then fight it again. Okay? But they might decide to reinforce if I don't sortie, so I'll have to do that. But if I roll 10 nines in a row, I will wipe this, but... Because look at the morale difference and the tactics. Oh, I rolled a zero! No. Uh, it's not gonna die, because we don't have enough stuff to kill. I don't have enough troops. Now the question is, do I retreat or not? I, they'll auto retreat. Yeah. Could have been a wipe if I had slightly more units, but we can now at least steal the garrison from this. Let's not go way over the force limit. What what are you doing? Dude! What what are you no! Livonia! What? Livonia! What Okay. I really want fucking Riga, dude. I want it in my belly. But at the same time. 
I could just get the warp and the money from him. But no, I want it. It's mine. Hmm. Difficult. It's not like we had any progress here anyway, so we can just walk away. Alright, and we should be able to get there way before he does. Oh, apparently we don't. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna walk in? Really? What kind of leader do we have? 4 for one Yeah, he's gonna suck and mill. So we've got a pretty good advantage as far as that goes. Can we walk away? Yeah, yeah. We can just walk away. Did you actually delete your fu Would you? What the fuck? Okay. It's fine. Can you at least attach to me? No? Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. Follow me. Come this way. No, listen, you fuck. Get. Okay. He's following me. We'll get some more Polish stack wipes before we go for Riga. Or do I just siege it down? I can't siege it down. I need to make use of my tech advantage to kill all of Polish. He lost very hard modifiers and suddenly he was way over the force of me. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm gonna, like, broadcast to the AI that I'm walking like this. So he might not, like, run away. Okay, but... Never mind. Okay, then. well, let's head back over to the Livonian Order, because they keep running away from me. I'm not sure if I should scorch this shit. I, if I scorch anything, it should be that. I do like that I just get to walk through here. Is that woods, at least? It is. Good. So we should be able to get a wipe or two here. Are you gonna run away? No, you're not. Ah, he is! But we can move into Narva then. Are you gonna catch them? Yes. Are you gonna actually reinforce? No. Good. That should be 14k Lithuanians out of the picture. Yeah, this is dead. 100%. There you go. Perfect. Oh, my 1k got slaughtered. That's a shame. This is woods, but I'm gonna charge into it anyway, because like I said, we are on a clock here. We have an advantage in military technology. So even though this is woods, I'm taking the penalty because I'm, I want to try wiping this. I wanna, I need to kill, 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 kill like crazy. Unfortunately, we're craven. That is sad. Can you fall down some stairs? Hey, perfect. That Craven guy is my 333. No. No. The air is a 333. The Craven guy is a zero fire, three shock, one maneuver, and two siege. He's dog shit. Hey, could you get like 159 guys to sit on this? So he can't build units. How's that tech advantage still? So, yeah, we're good. Poland's still 13k manpower left. We're gonna go for Płock. And then we're gonna mar march into Osterude. The main reason we march into Płock is to zone him off. So no one will reinforce it. Yeah, okay, we can just walk in. There's no there's no point now. And this'll die. A terrible, terrible death. Let's go! We might wipe. If we roll some nines here, we might wipe this. Hey, Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. 100%. 100% dead. 100%? 200%? 500%? There you go. <laughs> Battle of Grunwald! Revenged. 
German student? Yeah. No, it's just what happens when you focus mill, and if he goes for the union, he gets a one mill skill leader, so you want to immediately fight this man. Alright, where are you marching into? Okay, that's three kills. Let's go for it. Yeah, genau. Ganz ausgezeichnet, meine Damen und Herren. Das ist wieder 14,000 murdered. Uh, is this grassland? No, it's woods. I'm going to move into Poznan so they might feel the need to move away. We're gonna, we're gonna go in. Ah, fuck, he's no longer attached. I can't! Maybe if I ask access here. Hey, uh, keep following me, please. Gunther, hello? Gunther, 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 Gunther. Get the fuck into my... Follow me. Follow me. Got a lot of blood on my eyes. Yeah, genau. But that is good. Alright, cool. And Denmark is taking our Gotland, so we, we, we'll stop getting raided all the time. Did they actually raid us? No. No, they didn't. Good. What if they retreat through this? Through Stolp? Then I can cancel the mill access at the last second. I know this is woods, but I feel like we have to fight it anyway. Because this is all he's got left. No, no, stay here, you doofus. Nein, bitte, bitte, alter. Nein, hey. Gunther, nein, nein, G Gunther, Gunther. Godverdomme. Get back here. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. This way. This way. Yes. Yes. Okay, scorch that, walk away. Nine, 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 nine. Verdammte Scheiße. Oh, okay, none of these here. I'm just gonna march in because I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. And now I know that he's gonna follow me. So he better follow me. Okay, follow me. I, I swear to God, if you walk away, I will punch you in the face. I will punch you so hard, like, oh my God. I'm gonna integrate you and burn all your land. Okay. Good. It's not gonna like be a wipe or anything, but I do want to fight it whilst we still have our tech advantage. And, you know, like I said, they might decide to march through Stolp. I don't know why they would do that, but they might. Okay, but they don't. Right, it's time to head back north, because apparently Lithuania is having a field day. And I want to take care of that. Alright, we're making money, but we're completely out of manpower. So... Let's go do that. How's Poland doing? 22k, 8k manpower left. How's my uh, AT? 44. Okay. So I'm gonna get myself two leaders so he can slacken yet again. <laughs> yeah, slacken's really bad. Uh, I'll see... six? Tokirva? Okay. Sorry. You're fired. Let's head straight into Dirt. As you should still be low. Is Riga on tech 4? No, they're not. They're not. Okay, Poland's going back into Österude. That's good because it gives us something to kill. Kill it. Thank you. Let's keep it at the models level, I don't wanna... He still doesn't have tech 4. He's starting to get really hairy now. I might need to do a retreating thing there. I hope that he's gonna separate his units. How many poles dead? Uh, 118,000. Just a smidge. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's make sure they don't have that turned on. Get the cost privilege? I don't think I'm gonna get new generals. I'll do it at the end of the war. Wait, how come I get extra... Oh, the Malborg Castle is giving me extra... Oh, that's perfect! Yeah, let's go! Nice. Alright, now I might retreat here on purpose. Just so I can fight it again. Collapse the entire front line. Rolled good. I'm gonna retreat on purpose. Because now... That'll be him slaughtering the fight. And when will I arrive? On the 10th. So on the 9th... We do that. Because now... I get to steal 2,000 men out of the garrison. Copy, copy. Alright, uh, fuck, I need to head up north. Yeah, he killed another one of my dudes. Uh, yeah, let me just consolidate because uh, we were over the force limit and also I'm out of manpower. So how's Poland doing? They still have 20k left. Uh, but I'm gonna just debate them over here. Yeah. We don't need the sieges with our cannon, so let's leave those out of this. Okay, never mind. The Poles are there. I'm gonna go for one more charge into him. I want him to be absolutely, completely gutted before he gets tech 4. I would like to tell you to like, not attach to this. Can you, like, help me out? Over here in Riga? Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll take that money, actually. Yeah, and um, we're gonna get some easy wipes here. Maybe also yoink the garrison again? Perfect! Let's go! I got all the manpower I need, boys. Well, another stack wipe, and Poland's got zero out of zero units with zero 8k manpower remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we did a wonderful job. <laughs> Easy clap. Easy clap. That could have barely gone better. Yeah, I don't see how. <laughs> I don't see how. Wow, Tutan Arcoiter is so powerful. Ford's good, Vassal's good, what happened? Unintentional no loans run. Yeah, why would I get loans when I don't need them? I didn't even need to hire a Merc company. I just killed 160,000 Poles. It's mostly because of the tech advantage though. Like, that that really screwed them over. Like, they're both, they're both completely tapped. So, uh, if you want to get in, uh, by all means, Moscovy, like, these guys are dead, that's free real estate, you're welcome.
So, uh, I think for my first idea, we're gonna be picking espionage. Espionage! Yes. We're gonna be picking espionage. Because espionage and aristocratic has 15% cavalry common ability and 10% nobility loyalty equilibrium. And espionage and horde has 10% cavalry common ability and 50% cavalry flanking range. So, we're picking espionage. And we're picking it first because the aggressive expansion impact is going to help me conquer Poland. So. But you're a theocracy. Ah, that is a problem for now. But we can fix that problem, okay? We'll, we'll fix it. Don't worry about it. I'm picking aristocratic one way or the other. I was so proud of my Norse when now I've watched this and I feel like I may as well have this stuff. I was kind of surprised how easy this was. Thought I'd be, thought I'd be a little bit more hairy. Alright, let's go kill the Mazovians because that's all they've got left. Now they still have an army somewhere. Holy Horde gives you access to Horde ideas. Okay, that's good. But... What we also need is, let's get the horses out of this. Do some looting, pillaging and plundering on the Polish lands. Right, he's hiring some merc companies now. I right, got a breach. Keep getting some more occupations here. So you're going espionage divine? I don't think I'm picking divine. Divine fucking sucks. Major Donkey Kong ass bullshit. It's terrible. I don't want this. I think. I don't. I don't think I want this. Does this give any calf bonuses? No, right? No. I don't. I don't. I don't think I want that. No, I think I need. Uh, I, I I need quality. I need aristocratic. I need horde, and I need espionage. And then we get super horses. But, so somehow, before we become Holy Horde, we need to secularize or something, so I can pick Aristocratic. Ah, we got Pulsnan, and there's a lot of stuff going on in uh, Livonia, so I need to head over there. I need Divine or Re What? Divine is needed for the mi- <sighs> Fine, I'm picking Religious. I'm picking Religious, I'm not picking freaking Divine, okay? Divine is poopy. Poopy bands. Alright, and we got Riga. So let's go eat- wait, are we close to grabbing this? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. But, I mean, what's Riga really gonna do? Let's just keep it occupied for now. I don't have to pay for the fort. Because it has a capital fort. But whilst I have it occupied, I'm getting more trade power from it. Than if I were to integrate it. There's a reform that allows you to switch the... Yeah, it's pretty close. Right? It's uh, tier 6, actually. I have to get all the way down there. Separate piece for Livonia to take? Why would I give it to Livonia? So they can get two Trollums or the two Faith? Fuck that shit. I don't know. Annex now, so A can start ticking. That is a fair point. Livonia does have a core on it. Let's... Fine, I'll give it to Livonia. But I'll need that naval battle to finish first. Livonia is a vassal. Yeah. I have to deal with this first, real quick. I don't think I even need to fight this army, but I want to. Are they still on tech 3? Yeah, they're still on tech 3. So big, dude. Alright, Riga, you wanna get full Onyx there? Is he gonna give it back? He's not gonna give it back, right? It's already part of the HRE, that sucks. You're not gonna give it back, right? He's got a claim on it. I don't think he's gonna give it back. Alright, cute little battle here, which I might want to retreat out of on purpose. I 
Oh, the Overlord chooses. Perfect. I don't know if he's attached to me, though. Okay, he is. Perfect. And we go in again! Wait. Follow me, you fuck. God damn it. Lithonia. Follow me. Thank you. Now, they got more morale back than we did. And the... Banner army is going to be slightly too fast, so let's slow you down. So they all arrive on the same day. There we go. And let's consolidate that. Now we might wipe it. Yeah! 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 Oh, so close, come on! You have to do it right now. Oh, you little shit. That was so close. That was so close to a wipe. But they might not retreat. Ooh. We go in again. Follow me. Right. The banner is gonna leave on the... The banner is gonna be too fast. Gonna slow you down. One more day. Again, consolidate, and now it's actually gonna die, right? There's no way it's gonna survive this time. Oh, he just got tech four. Never mind. We might not wipe it then. Probably not. No. I mean, I could go at it again, but that's a shame. I really thought we could wipe it there, but he did get the tech. So now we need to go occupy Krakow, so we can uh, end the war, and that should give me the war score I need. I see some Palenque units. How much war score is needed? A hundred. You don't peace out before then. There's no point. You know, like, follow me, dude. Hey, stinky. Follow me. Right. Yeah, he's actually got 12k, so if I don't... Follow me, follow me, please follow me. I'm out of manpower. Why Tutanagore? Because they got a cool mission tree. They got a new mission tree in this patch. So I want to, to check that out. They can go holy horde. Am I going for Mongol Empire? Why not? Uh, I don't know if we'll go for Mongol Empire, actually. We'll see. Now, before I peace out, I kind of want... I need to get advisors. Because we can afford them. Poland's now in my face. Rebels in Lithuania are noble rebels. Hey, okay, there's my first reform. Uh, I think we'll do the uh, this. Yeah. Oh, right. Thank you. Before the uh, before this happens, we're gonna need to do land of commerce. Yes. Because that way, see, right now when I peace out, I'm not sure if I'm gaining Kronland or not. So I want this, right? I want my perma claims. Yeah. I was th also think we should ask for max money and war operations. And maybe Plotsk. Okay. So this is what we're going to peace out for. We don't get coalition. That's good. Um... If we take a look at my crown land, I'm gonna get a little bit of crown land. If I lose more crown land, I'm gonna gain more. Because my it will be further away from my equilibrium. I'm really hoping Leafland's gonna survive here. Host Mayor, thank you for something for six months in a row. Tip Matthews, sir. Alright, let's crack out. And uh, I kinda wanted to delay so I could get uh, the tech, but seeing as how we're completely out of manpower, let's not do that. Oh, and that also means we have to go do this. Maybe just peace out as soon as possible, so I can start to get my manpower to recover again. 
Did they remove the Uprising event? No, but if you get 40% crown lines, you can click a mission to remove it. And, well, we did. So. Might need to siege down Varsala. Yeah, Leafland's falling though. Alright, the war is about to end, so I'm gonna forget to do this, I'm gonna click it now. See, and so now my crown land uh, is gonna increase by a lot more. You see that? Alright, is it seven? What's the fourth defense here? Uh, you can't even use this state edict, you silly goose. Right, how far away from accepting are you? Negative six. Uh, I'm gonna gamble that he doesn't get it at seven. Please don't get it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Negative one. Come on. He's got 21% now. Can you, like, do this? Negative one. Come on. And plus three. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Digging province of Lithuania later? What? Uh, I think I'm happy with this. I don't know what the rest of the missions do. And uh, this is good. I'm getting the war up. I'm getting the money. Uh, this is perfect. No one cares. Yeah, this is perfection. Let's do it. Alright, cool. So, uh, defeat Poland. Unlock the rest of the mission tree. The future of the Teutonic Order happens. Although our order managed to defeat Poland, it is clear that our state has no clear direction anymore. No driving goal. When we settled in this land, our path was clear. The Christianization of the Baltic tribes. We were successful with this, but we never asked ourselves what would happen afterwards. This aimlessness made us weak and decadent. We must find our purpose again, or otherwise we are doomed to become a mere subject of our one of our neighbors. The time of crusades is over. We shall forge a new Prussian future, or we need to continue our crusade, this time against the heretics. We will not be able to form Prussia. All nations require us to stay Catholic. What the f... Okay. Well, we got some extra claims now. I also have a little bit of war exhaustion that I will be buying down because I don't like that. Let's go root this out and start those cores. Perfect. Core everything won't go. And let's see. Um, annex Lithuania. I need five provinces in Lithuania. And then we get... Okay, I just want to check all the missions to see if there's a, a difference, you know? Alright, so if we do this, we get... AT and Devotion, and also Perma claims on Ruthenia area. Wow, okay. <laughs> Christianize the steps. Cavalry speed and movement speed. More claims. Fortify the Caucasus. Okay. Yeah, it's a crusade against Orthodoxy. And then we can defeat the Ottomans and we get the humiliation of the Ottoman Empire. Okay. So this is the Alt Potato. Conquer Poland. Need 20 province here. We get some manpower, we get a permanent claim on Ruthenia as well. We get double claims on Ruthenia. <laughs> and we get even more AT, even more manpower. Okay, Ruthenian planes. And then we get the formation of a crusader order. Okay. Eliminate the hordes. Permanent claim on Central Asia region. Push into the steps. Oh, okay. Ah, and then when we do this, I think we get to do Holy Horde. No, we'll see. Anyway, uh, have won 20 battles. Previous battles don't count. 
We get experience on the battlefield. Cavalry to infantry ratio, plus 10%. Okay, there we go. Reform the army, and then we get a reformed army. Another 10% cavalry to infantry ratio? Pog. Adapt to the planes. Has one military deal group, 25,000 cavalry. We get an army adapted to the plate, another 10% cavalry combat ability, and 25% cavalry to infantry ratio. So that's how much then? 10? 20? 45? And we already have 50, so that, that's already put us at 95. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it replaces. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. So we get 25. Then. Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Establish a great cavalry. Oh, okay, there you go. Mounted Crusader Army. This'll do it. That, okay. So it replaces it, and here we get 15% cavalry combat ability, a yearly arm tradition, cavalry flanking ability, movement speed, cavalry to infantry ratio plus 50%. So this is uh this gives me 100 percent cavalry ratio. Perfect. Mounted Crusader Cavalry. Okay, good. Yeah, what do I need for this? I need to improve relation with the Pope. And then I get PP. Embrace religious ideas. I either need completed religious or divine. Okay. And then we get some other points. Convert the land. Okay. Well, this is really... Okay. Do I really want this? I mean, this is... I, I don't know if we're even going to do that. Right. Um, resist the Reformation. Okay. Can embrace the Counter-Reformation indefinitely, dude. That is so many missionaries. Okay. Crush the heresy. And then we got crush the reformation till the end of the game. Papal influence for Cardinal. Seems good. Then, over here. Loyalty is 60 or greater. We get issue anti-heresy act. And perma claims on Novgorod. We conquer Novgorod. We get claims on Moscow. And reform progress. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this because I want to secularize real quick. Um, just real quick, you know, just to in and out 10 second adventure. Uh, so I can pick aristocratic ideas. I'm still hoping we can still do these missions, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, if we own Moscow, we get this. Perma claims on Russia. Oh, and we can end the schism. Pep the fucking laugh. Okay. 15 provinces with a church, it gives us more loyalty, and yeah, okay, local tax, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, so, for now, we're gonna be drilling. Any achievement for the Teutons? Starting against the Teutonic Order from the Mongol Empire whilst having the Holy Horde government- Okay, we're definitely doing this. There's an achievement for it. We need to form the Mongol Empire. <laughs> Ally the Pope for the means. I, need, I think I need to like approve relations with the Pope. So let's go do that. And I'm making so much fucking money. This is bizarre. Alright, let's go drill. Perfect. Okay, well, I was making money. So much for that idea. God, I love this country. This is sexy. I need to give another privilege over to the these. Do I do church sanctuaries? Let's roleplay. We're gonna build churches in these lands. Let's do it. And yeah, I think for now we're just gonna wait until we can fight this dude again. Or maybe we can go for Novgorod if there's still something left of Novgorod. At least some grass forts. No, no, I don't think I will. Ooh. Do we spend 200 to on, on a cardinal? No, fuck that shit. Alright, do, do I want a dev East Prussia? Or do I want a dev... I want a dev Danzig, right? Yeah, I mean, it's an Antropoth. Let's uh, do this thing. And we're gonna dev the crap out of Danzig. Can I make these guys happy? Well, I could, if I gave them another thing. Have fun with Govcap. You can find ways. No worries. Are we going to abuse the centralized thing again? Uh, not. I was not going to do that. But. Holy Horde is a government reform. And my PP is nice and rock solid. Also, did my navy force some of it increase? No. Uh, I'm not gonna be using cocks, so those are getting deleted. I also don't really need to use these. 
You guys are gonna protect trade, and we're gonna build that up. <laughs> Alright, my navy purely exists to make me money. If we ever get into war with Denmark, we die. But we don't die, we'll just fight him on the beaches. So. The final mission against the Altus converts all Christian provinces they own to Catholic and gives them all 20? I don't know, what the fuck, shit. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna want to wait for my burgers to get happy before I dev that, so it's fine. We're not in a hurry here. Hey, did you play Hollow yet? Expand infrastructure for 50. Atman now gets 25% got, got production and doesn't go away when you tax, which people saying playing Tall's debit combined with. Wow, well, did that? No, I don't. I think there's no way playing Tall is dead, but uh, anyway, the small models that you can play insanely taller, it'd also be insane for. Yes, I agree. On everything that you just said. Thank you for the free units. I'll take it. Playing Tal was always dead. <laughs> it's never been dead. Isn't Polotsk farmlands? Uh, no, it's actually this fort is kind of ass. I'm gonna get rid of this one. We could get the innovativeness from this and save our inno, but I, don't, I really don't think I want to do that. I just want to wait for my burgers to get happy, man. They're almost happy. Just a little bit more. I'll do the stupid call a diet thing. That's not stupid, but... Alan Salora, thank you for some of Prime Game Man. Tip matter to you, sir. And I want to integrate you because, uh, yikes. Let's start doing that. No, no, wait, not yet. Because I want my espionage ideas. If I start conquering Poland now, I'm gonna get shafted, and I'm gonna need to fight coalition wars. I don't wanna do that. We've done that in the previous campaign. Fuck that shit. Okay, sure, I'll do that. Um, yes, fine. That way we don't need to do a D of crap, so we can just, like, dev this now. I'll use a little bit of mill up to, like, 600. I've got everything active, right? Yes. Wait, I'm doing Marienburg, not Danzig. Okay, burgers are happy. Do one more. Now I could make this into a world port, but... Espionage Divine? No, I'm not going to Divine. Fuck Divine. Okay. And Danzig is now the seat of a cardinal. Big surprise there. Could also expand infrastructure again, but I don't think we should because we're gonna get in trouble with golf caps soon. I'm gonna statify this. Uh, we funnel this Devon. I mean, if we were going to do that, we should have done that earlier. And I'm also gonna want this to core that, even though you know issues. I'd like to get the trade efficiency thingy guy. And someone got tech 5. Did we just spent the extra shit on this? Fuck it. It'll be a while before we get Renaissance. Yeah, I'm going for a full cav army with maxed out CCA, yes. I wanna fire that event. Okay, there's my Master of Mint. So now I need a trade efficiency guy. Perfect. And there we go. Now, what is that anti-heresy act crap that I can do? Okay, sure. Yeah, why not? Moscovy will probably die soon. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I mean, they're neutral to me now. I could fight them myself, but I think that's a bad idea. And we've got a one three five. I would like it if we could get our nobles happy. So I'm gonna do local noble. Oh my god, these heirs! My shit sake! It's so garbage! It's so garbage! At least he's good at shocking people. But oh my god, they're so garbage. 
And you can't kill them either. Fucking theocracy sucks major dick. Right, uh, did we statify all of this? We did, and we didn't get a rebellion, so I can lower the autonomy here. And I will, because I need low autonomy to get more reform progress, because I want to be a... I don't want to be a theocracy. Theocracy fucking sucks. Made a dick. Right, uh, let's go do this. And seize. I'll do... Improve with Staten? Yeah, why not? Alright, Staten. I'm gonna go improve relation with you. Perfect. There's a reform that allows you to see the air stats in the event. Okay. I'll be trying to do that, but... Okay, Cardinal Spad Institutions now, so we'll have our thing in no time. And we can build churches. Lose autonomy in Neumark. Sure. The other thing is 50 Ammon, though. Fuck the... Give me the Ammon. Yeah, you need to stop drilling, because there's going to be a Mazovian Rebellion in Plotsk. How's my trade? Making 8 ducats a month here now. Sexy times. Careful of Austria. Allies for 250 years suddenly desired every. I, I'm. Not, I don't do allies. Hey, Hank, could you please just spawn? Jesus, I've been sitting here for 50 odd years. Hello. There you go. Stole the garrison? Are we over the limit now? No. Lithuanian separate. Jeez. Did I do Płock to do Mazovian reconquest later? No, I did Płock because it was an annoying fort. Oh, and I want that noble privilege now, I think. Where is it? The cheaper leaders? Where is it? Yeah. Uh, I could also do the integration policy. I mean, why not? It's gonna disappear once I integrate him anyway. But I don't need to click it yet. We can hold off on it. Doesn't Polish culture give bonuses to cavalry? I have no idea, but I do want to accept it. Thank you for reminding me. But will you do Mazovian Reconquest later anyway? No. I'm just gonna eat it. Alright, choose with Poland's over in six years. And we can't seize again for a while. I want high crown land in this campaign. Because I want a lot of reform progress. There's many things we want to do. Everything for manpower? Yeah, and there we go. Cool. Yes, I'll take it. So now we can get plus one stab, which is nice. Right before getting the stab cost guy, like a, like a beast. And we can get... I'm gonna get the marketplace, because it's just that good for me, I think. So we can now build a marketplace over in Danzig. Which I think is gonna be really good for me. And we won't get temples anyway. For a while. Have we improved max relations to the Pope? Uh, not yet. What, what do I need for that? Oh, I need to invest things? Oh, I need to ally him! Uh, do I ally him? Yeah? Okay, fine. I'll ally him. Sure, new men is fine. Also, Aragon, uh, Naples ate the crap out of uh, Aragon, yeah? I'll make an exception for the Pope as well, then, just because I need it for the mission tree. And then I need what? I need to invest 30 points. Oh! Wait, what? 
Oh, it does. Okay, well, sure. Yeah, and then we get a level 1 Inquisitor that's 50% uh, cheaper to maintain, so I'll gladly use that instead. Okay, Pog. Uh, so I'm going to be building temples now. And more buildings. Am I? Well, I just clicked the button, so I guess so. Hey, okay, that marketplace was a total scam. Absolute, complete scam, okay? Total, utter, total scam. It's, it's just complete dog shit. Everything provincial trade power related is just poopy. Poopy McPoop face. I was making eight, now I'm still making eight. Now, what the fuck is the point of temples? I mean, um. Marketplaces. Is, uh, yeah, I want that monument. Definitely. But, uh, I'll tell you what I won't want. I don't want fucking marketplaces anymore. Screw that shit. We should probably save up the money to embrace the institution as well. And maybe turn off some state edicts. How about that? Pope Alliance? I'm allied to the Pope. Oh, you want me to cancel it again? Because we no longer need it. Right? No. Okay, let's cancel it. Protect the Pope. Is tax good in this patch? I'll tell you what's good. Selling my crawl It's so sexy. I really want to click it. I can't. And uh, let's put this on uh, protect trade now. I swear to god, this is such a meme. A everything trade related is such a meme. Autonomy edict in Poland? I think autonomy is like pretty close to zero now anyway. It's dropping quite fast, because we're at peace. I, I would like to build temples, but we need to embrace this institution first. Because if I embrace it, I get construction cost reduction. And we're gonna seize again. Let's stop doing this. Piss these people off. Hey, uh, how come you didn't get the memo the first time? Huh? Okay. So Dante's been protected. <laughs> I'm still drilling. I'm not sure if I should. I mean, I should. I, I can't make men. Okay. I can make money. I can get money from places, but I can't get men. Like I then again, I do really need to embrace this institution. If we stop paying for this and stop drilling, we'll make 10 dockets a month or something. Yeah. Sure, more people influence. We can now get the manpower thing. Sure, more inno. Uh... Yeah. Almost hitting that point. No, we, we can save it way more. But if you can't make more men, why are they called manufactories? How come it's been four hours but only 1464? Because we started the campaign with uh, Sweden. Or this stream. We had the finale of Sweden first. If I wait with embracing it till we have this. We should have pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna need to use the advancement effort. It'll be quite a bit cheaper to embrace this if we grab it here. Can I still grab this though? Uh, I don't know. One. Uh. Uh. Uh, I'm about to hit the point cap anyway. Uh, uh, fuck it. We embrace. Let me grab the tech. Okay. That yeah, seems good. Oh! Right, we got faceting now, because, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, well, sure. <laughs> I had no actual intention of going for that, but, uh, why not? Yes. 
<laughs> so we got fast the thing now. It seems good. We now produce gems and uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, seems seems perfectly natural. We got face the thing. So with that, do we still want to like save money to build more temples? I think I don't know. That's a difficult choice to make, but. I'd like to put my focus on dip now, or maybe admin. I can change it soon, and we should keep drilling. No, no, don't, don't keep drilling. Build a stupid fucking temple. Make money. I need to be able to maintain my army, so. Yes! Heinrich died, perfect. All right, now who's pissed off? Probably everyone. Yeah, pretty much everyone. All right, uh, let's get the merchant son. I swear to God, they're scripted to be terrible. They're actually scripted to be terrible, aren't they? They're actually scripted to be terrible. Like, I'm not making it up, right? Like, hey. Um, new rulers will trigger education. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, for Carl Joseph from Wassenberg. Get admin. Oh, right, but it's for the next one. Okay, for, for the first one, it bugs out. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. Get admin. Okay, what the shit, fuck? Get the merchant again. Huh? What? No. What the fuck just happened? Did he flunk out of school? He didn't have zero app men, guys. All right, let's make him into a leader. The air is actually pretty good. So, hopefully we can die. Okay. Because the air is actually pretty good. And we have more money. Uh, now, I want to build this thing in Königsberg, but also I want to build manpower buildings now. In Danzig. Yeah. And also in Marienburg. Because that place is actually kind of good. Seems perfect. Alright, and you guys go drill. Because the war with um, Crap Face McGee is about to start. And with Crap Face McGee, I mean Poland. So I built the. I want to expand the military a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, this is fine. Uh, we built the barracks in there. I'm also going to want to build one in Marienburg, so let's dev this place. Should also like Im insult something. Uh, you can go insult Brandenburg. You smell of stinky feet. Okay. Keeps my pee, pee up. Watch him down me f because I did that. This guy's cheaper to maintain, and we need him because we're gonna be AE capped here. And yeah, I, we have a free rival slot. You're right. Let's go rival Bohemia or something. Oh, let's rival Moscovy. Apparently, my army is just as strong as his. I don't have this kind of money, and it saddens me greatly, but... Simony! We need money! Yes! Alright, so let's go build another thing over here in Danzig. And we can dub this place somewhere. Sure. Gotta conquer half of Russia ASAP. Okay, so ASAP, Shmeshap. He doesn't want to fight me yet. He does. I gotta maintain truce and constant warfare with Poland. I don't have enough admin to constantly keep fighting both at the same time. So if Muscovy doesn't want to fight me yet, I'm I'm all for that. I'm all happy about that. Now he's actually allied to Pomerania, which is very interesting. Uh, I think we will waltz over Pomerania, but we'll see. We're gonna cancel drilling, we're gonna pay for our army, and we're gonna see what we can do. 
He'll probably go after me. Yeah, sure. But if he goes after me, then I'll be the defender, which I very much appreciate. So I'll take it. Now, we also had a bunch of modifiers for the first war that I think they ran out. Yeah, okay, so the last Reise, you can't use this for two of the wars. So that this also really helped me out. And the Teutonic Pride is also going to run out. So we got 15% extra morale. That really helps you out. I do get Papal Blessing, though, and we have a massive big dick tech advantage on him. Look at him. Look at him. We're going to have tech uh, 6 on him, and we're going to get tech 7. So this should be relatively easy. We've got a red vassal. Let's go get a green vassal. I don't want stinking Pomerania. And I, I, I would free Rugen, but then they would start raiding my coast. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. What should we do with them? Yeah. I need to tell these guys to go home during war. That's what I need to do. How much of a difference does, do these boats even make in terms of trade? Oh, it should be like fucking nothing, dude. Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to lose like 0.4. A duck at a month. How much does that cost me? Yeah. Honestly, just you should never fucking build trade ships, dude. Like, they fucking suck dick. Like, really? Like, what? Why am I doing this? Trade boats are such a fucking meme, dude. I <laughs> they only work if you build like a million of them and if you built main factories everywhere. So, why'd you build 17? Because I wanted to fucking. I don't know. It felt satisfying to do. That's why. I mean, I guess they sort of helped. Maybe if I had an admiral too. Maybe if the stars aligned perfectly. They suck because there's no value in my node. Excuse me. I have like the. I'm in the top ten of the world. I'm bigger than Constantinople. I'm. Excuse me. Who are you calling poor? Let's go pirate. They get point six. They didn't get point. They gave point. They gave a duck at a month, and it cost me um, point eight to maintain. Just use them to privateer for PP. No, I think if we can just get a little bit more, maybe I'll make more if I tell them to go to Novgorod. I don't know. Figure it out. Once you understand trade, it'll change your mind. Once I understand trade, I know that the only way to fucking make sure you have all the trade power. All right, listen. Listen, here's my guide to trade, okay? You wanna know my guide to trade? You wanna know my guide to trade? How to make how to make big bucks? It, it's very easy. It's very easy. Okay? You wanna know the simple secret to infinite money from trade? Okay? Conquer the world. Ta-da! You make lots of money.
this is this has been absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I am tempted, ladies and gentlemen, because we are so powerful. I'm tempted to not meme for once and pick admin ideas, but uh, but my espionage. Fuck, I ran out of beans. Hey, no, no, stop making coffee. You did not have beans. You need espionage, yes. Let's take a look at what I need. So I need espionage, I need horde, I need quality, and I need aristocratic. Uh, yeah, no, we don't need admin. Let's not get admin. And you need religion. Now, nah, fuck religious. That, that line of the mission tree gives you nothing. Like, what does that give me? It gives me one upgrade to my ruler, and then it gives me tolerance of the true faith. What? No. I'm not going to pick a whole idea set just for that. No, I don't need religious. You won't need- Oh, that's a fair point, Mr. Bulu. I don't need admin. Yeah, you're right. No, I won't need admin if I'm a horde. So, um, what do I need? Game combat experience. Need to win 20 battles and then we can click this. For this we need 30 professionalism. Yeah, okay. And then what do we need for this? We need to go conquer Poland. And we need to annex Lithuania. So they get five provinces in there and another 11 in Poland. And then we need like 25 provinces in Ruthenia. Okay, so that's what we're going to be taking in this war, hopefully. Um, it doesn't even want to join Pepelav. Okay, do I want Marcella? I mean, it is a big, fat, fucking sexy ass piece of shit. Let, uh, I'll declare one for that. It is such a sexy province. Let's go. Without. Religious, you won't get a conditional modifier for 25% extra. Okay, so I might need religious. Then, okay, then I might need religious, but we'll, we'll figure it out. In that case, we might get religious. So we don't need admin, yeah? So I'm gonna just pick uh, espionage. I see the poles. This is almost half his army. More than half his army. And again, we have a tech advantage on him, and 110% discipline, so, yeah. He also disbanded all of his forts, because, because he ran out of money. Let's find that other stack of his. We're gonna blitz this guy. So hard. Easiest Polish word of my life. How are you doing? Let's not occupy belts. He's converting it. I can appreciate that. I appreciate you, Poland. I appreciate you. Your input is valued. Right. Uh, Poland. Where's your army? I want to find the other 13k. I think he's dead. Do you have troops? He still has troops. Is he just running away? Let's go for Kaunas then. Hello? Poland? Do you think the monastic brewery's reform is worth it for the area you're in? do own a lot of grain but oh
This is really good. Uh, it's up to you. Well, I'll put it to a vote. Okay, this is... What is this war? I, I'm just gonna speed forward this. I don't want to make the Aaron to a leader, but I do want an extra leader. Who gives a fuck about how much grain I have? But more grain equals more beers. Yan, fourteen eighty-nine. And then I want another one, actually. Embray nine. Embray nine. I mean, are you gonna like start fighting back or what are we doing here? But you have no wine. I feel like that thing is only good for Catholics going into Egypt. I mean, nowhere in the mission tree does it say you can't finish if you don't go to Egypt. Okay, he's uh, he's over there. I think we can finish both of these sieges before he finishes me though. And even, even yeah, you're being a very good distraction. Okay, he's built up to 50k now, so... Maybe it's time to take this a little bit more seriously. At the same time, I almost haven't fully occupied, so... We're, we're gonna see him delete his army soon, I think. <laughs> I could probably just siege down Vilnius, too. How can they afford 50k men of peasants? It's actually not Poland that's doing that. It's um, Lithuania as being the real enemy right now. I'm surprised they're still loyal. Alright, so we're about to hit the point cap. I can go grab this now, and then we can go get espionage. Yes. Perfect. And that will also give me some siege ability. Let's go. Cancel the missionary and belts. Did they cancel it or... Oh, they cancelled it because he ran out of money, you fuck. Okay, I was gonna let you live, but now, no. So he's getting really close to finishing that, so maybe we go and save our vassal then. Fine. Oh shit, he's actually sieging really fast. Wait, why did I choose espionage? Why espionage? Because espionage, my Damen und Herren, has two policies that I want. It has... Espionage and aristocratic is gonna give me a 15% cavalry combat ability. Espionage and Horde is going to give me 10% Cavalry Combat Ability for an additional 25% Cavalry Combat Ability. Which, seeing as how my entire army is about to turn into, well not about to, but it, it's going to turn into full horses. So, that's going to be 25% extra horses. Not going Divine? No. Now let's see how we do in the Shock Phase. Are you going to help out? Yes. Okay, perfect. Muscovy's gonna fight Novgorod again. Seems good. Ooh, this could be a wipe if I kill a little bit more guys. I need to kill another 1,000 guys. Is there still 1,000 guys on the board? No. That's a shame. Could have been a wipe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Save this! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 listen! You don't need to... Oh. That's fine. We'll be okay. Um, twenty percent of more trade power and Neva. Can you guys go protect trade in Novgorod? Gain ten, lose ten devotion. No, I'll lose the prestige. It's fine. I right, so we liberated this, and he didn't get a single tick there. So. Go send the other half over to this, and there you go, that's my mission completed. I don't want to use him though, because I've got the <laughs> better relations over time guy. Alright, did you kill some of the garrison? You did. Good job. Also, it's time for more leaders, because I need 30 professionalism. So, uh, definitely, definitely not Haven. Uh, 
Proletera. You know what EU5 needs? A way so it can do this automatically. <laughs> Such a lazy ass. Alright, uh, wow, shocking. Erhan7410. Wow! 17 year old, too. Ero Salamandra. Uh, Low Cato. And Sim Sippy. Jet Blackstar. Seems good. Now let's go fire the stuff that we don't need. Yeah, I fired the six shot because I got a better one. No, he's gonna kill my army down there. Oh, that's a shame. So now we can fire the other dudes. Seems good. So do we have a, I'll see, this is gonna finish it right now. Okay, perfect. Uh, I've got our double siege guy on that, which I don't need more dudes on, so. Let's do this. And then we'll send the rest of the army down south. We're about to unlock cannons as well, so that's gonna be good. Okay, let me just make sure you guys move into Aussie 6. And then switch the leader out to the 3 6. And we're gonna go stack wipe some poles. Yeah, no, they. They. They, uh. Cancelled the missionary. Stop running away from me. Please. I asked nicely, but. Am I still focusing mill? Yeah. Uh, we can put it on something else. I'll, I'll put it on that, man. And I might want to upgrade the, my guy, because he's 75% cheaper to maintain, so... Okay, we charge into those farmlands. I'll need to make sure to split this up somehow. Can you form Poland to get Winged Azars? Yes, I could. But I'll need to finish the Holy Horde mission first. And I don't know if I get to keep those bonuses. It's a special event if you sec Prague. Okay. Also, do I make more... So how much money do I make from trade now? 8.48. What if I told you to protect trade in the Baltic? Probably makes me more. I just got Vilnius. His entire army's here. We're having a standoff. So I'm just gonna carpet teach him now. This is the entire military, right? Yeah. Oh, and also Hungary? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I might not need to fight him anymore, so in an effort to save Mampire, I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna fight. And let's take a look at what the pistol's gonna look like. So, did I get the AE impact reduction? Yeah, I did. And will we get this one? We should. I might wanna stop pushing him then, because... Well, you know. I mean, we're gonna get Culpa Pizza anyway. Payback for the Hussite Wars. 50 PP, 50 mil, and 400 docking. Okay, cool. Oh. Let's go save my guy. I'll need to maintain the war now for, at this point, but I'm, we're going to get more stuff later. And uh, let's give this stuff over to Livonia. The Kjalfar one upgrades my... Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, we'll keep playing a bit of whack-a-mole on him. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't like what he's doing here. I also need to check out the peace deal. So, we need five provinces in Lithuania, yes? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's expensive. Okay. And then another 11 in Poland. And we declare war for Warsaw, so I totally take that. I guess we take this. Actually, only Poland cares. Thanks to our glorious espionage ideas. So I don't really need to wait for this, but I think I should wait for it anyway. How many more battles for- Oh yeah, the mission! Uh, eight. Let's make sure we do that before the end of it. So there is a reason to fight battles still then. Okay. Let's go- let's go fight some battles. I'm trying to walk like this so he doesn't think I'm going for him. <laughs> Don't know if that actually works. Okay, six. Monkey units counts as a battle as well. Okay, but he ran out of troops, so... If you take the... Polish provinces first, will Lithuania break free and then it's easy? I doubt that because he's, um, he's like a really happy person, you know? They're, uh, historical friends. So, I don't think that would happen. Is this a good nation for world conquest? Definitely. But if you're gonna do that, then don't meme and pick, uh, admin, yeah? You can still pick espionage later if you want, but... Does assault count as a battle? No way. Wait, was that Bohemia declaring war on Austria? What the fuck? Okay. That you know, would be really funny if they peace out. And then... Uh, I wonder if rebels count. If they peace out instantly and then Austria stomps the crap out of Bohemia anyway. Any more cool buildings I can build? Not really. Any more of these? Not really either. But I'll build a couple. Rebels do count. Okay, that's good. So how many more do I need? Five more. Four more? Ah, just hit the point cap. But, I mean, I'm still ahead in time, and let's just get a couple of these because I need more professionalism still. Uh, no, no thank you. Is Foreign Jerusalem going to give me Jerusalem missions or not? Yeah, okay. I won't be doing any of that then. Ha! Our crusades have shown success on the battlefield. Several battles were won and the Knights of the Teutonic Order triumphs. <laughs> get an additional 3% professionalism. Alright. And now we get better cavalry to infantry ratio. Let's do it. So for this we need to conquer Poland. Oh, wait, so I want to do conquer Poland first then. Let's uh, scratch this. Um, is this 10 prop? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, oh, fuck. Not gonna get Poland in one more. We'll see about that. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There you go. That's the mission. Yeah, and that'll also give me a permanent claim on Ruthini already. Silesia counts as Poland. It's not like Austria would defend them. Too much AE? I got espionage. Right, so seeing as how Silesia also counts for your uh, Poland, it is one, two, three, four, five provinces. So, and I need 11, so I need to conquer six provinces from Poland. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Okay, that. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do this instead. Okay. And then we're gonna go fight Bohemia. Yeah? That seems like a perfect plan. Let me go embargo you for pee pee. Uh, but that does mean I'll want to wait for my splendor ability because I don't want to get more AE on um, on the stuff than necessary. I'm, I'm only grabbing the Lithuanian crap, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seems good. And then in the next war, we can go take out um, the other bit. All right, and we can also go back home drilling, because the war is over. We will. But I'm not going to peace out until we get the discount. Do you already have the prestige thing in the state for less AE? I do. Yeah. Am I going to gain Crownland here? Or lose it? I need to remove Rite of Council. Yeah. Gave them way too much influence. Auto peace out. Auto peace out, but Austria won't join because they're literally at war with Bohemia. <laughs> That would 1,000% be super illegal for them to join that war. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna lose my reform progress. Give me this. Genuine question? Why not join the HRE? Because I don't want to be a babby HRE person, okay? Alright, let's go justify wars. I don't need protection, okay? I'm gonna eat it. Alright, perfect. So now are we gaining Crowland? No, we're still losing it, but only 0.6, so I'll still need to neuter my estates because I really want high Crowland in this campaign, but this is fine for now. Um Did that already apply? Yeah, it did. Perfect. Let's take the remaining money as well. <laughs> Those odds seem good. Alex Lithuania! Gain 2080! Permaclaim on Ruthenia, Permaclaim on the Pontic Step. Sexy times! <laughs> and for Krokopola, we just need to conquer five provinces from uh, Crab Face Mickey over here. So, let's buy down the War Exhaustion and core this stuff. And we have our spy network, so he's still at war with Hungary. Most expensive province here is going to be uh, Vratslav. So let's fabricate on that. Uh, we're also gonna get our cannons now. Thank you. I could wait till the year tick. 
No, I could, but I'm not going to. Let's go get this, and we're gonna declare. Austria doesn't want to join, because they're already at war. We got Brunswick, Saxony, and Gosler. And we get... Govcap? Govcap's still fine. Wait. Before we do anything, we should probably seize. No! No! Uh, I don't think this war's gonna last five years. It's kind of clueless, isn't it? Wait, but it, given my equilibrium is sh this shit, and I need to curtail them to move... I would first like to move the equilibrium, so I'm gonna do this, we're gonna get rid of that. Then we can get rid of religious diplomats. Then I can get rid of free enterprise, and now I'll seize. And now when we conquer land from Bohemia, my, my crown land should just grow. Yeah? So, let's quickly go declare the war so Austria can join. Perfect. And now we also have money that we can use to fight the war with, so... I'll be home before Christmas. I think so. I'm gonna get at least one cannon. Because... Now I'll get three. So I can burn the thing. But I'm out of manpower, so... Fuck the nobility. Fuck everyone. That isn't me. Okay, now, seeing as how... We're gonna want to walk over to Brunswick. Because Bami is probably kind of busy fighting Austria. So we should use this time now to kick out his allies. You don't need to siege us with this many dudes. Saxony vassal? No, 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 no. Not actually going into the HRE. Okay, we got bigger fish to fry, and those fries are not. No. Is that enough to piece you out? Not yet. Are there any mercs with cannons? Uh, once you get tech seven, almost all mercs will get cannons. But I don't want mercs because if I get a merc, I lose professionalism. We're gonna try winning the war with the troops that we have. Get you over there? OPM Saxony seems like a good deal though. It seems like a great way to lose focus in life and get distracted and fight a hundred coalition wars with the HRE. And I, for one, don't fancy doing that. So we're not gonna be taking Saxony. I don't care how OPM he is, okay? I don't want a stinking vassal. Speaking of vassals, we should uh, Scottish Livonian order now. And we're gonna integrate him. Because I finished, uh, finished my deal, so... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big dick, big dick. Look at him. Ugh. I need a fort down here. I need a fort in Krakow. Improve with Austria? No. Alright, we got Brunswick. So, we can probably piece you out. And maybe head into this. Wait, what? QQ is like, I've heard of this faraway country that is supposedly good at horses. This is such an insult. I'm the one that's good at horses because I got that horse thing. This is a scam. I need to show these two to the quarter knights a lesson. All right, he's almost ready to peace out. What about you? You wanted to give me max money and more up? Yeah, okay. Um, actually, no, forget about the trade power. Give me prestige. Yeah, for that, we'll need to occupy a little bit more land. I'm stuck. I'm not actually gonna siege down Galzlar, like, fuck that. Galzlar, peace out. Galzlar, please. Goslar, please. Please, Goslar. Goslar. Goslar, any day now. Thank you. But. Almost. Huh? Oh, and now he's got fully occupied because I couldn't fucking move. Okay, fine. You can keep a super money. But do give me the prestige, please. Prestige, please. Thank you. We should build more barracks. 
Eh. And Zaxi won't peace out until I siege him down. Uh, don't we have cannons? Yeah, we do. Are you using the double siege guy? Yeah, you are. Good. That's 28. I like how fucking... Wait. Oh, no. We need to occupy Silesia ASAP because uh, Austria is sieging on Prague and... I certainly don't want him to occupy that and start to think about releasing it because then we, we're going to be locked out of our mission tree until we can fight Poland again. Which I, I really don't want. Let's make sure we occupy that bread basket. Almost people sanctioned for war? <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. How are those relations? I should be giving him money all the time. I completely forgot about that. Right, we got Zwickau, so now we can also deal with the Poles here. Uh, Bohemians. I got confused. Okay. We just leave a dude on that. You guys can go split up. Make sure you leave a dude on... A dude on that, not a horse. My units look so cool. Look at that. All of Silesia is crapped on a video. We'll see. Okay. Eerst seen dan geloven, oké? Okay? I got, I got so much E reduction. I got a ton of E reduction. I've got so much E reduction, and I'm about to become the Pope. Believe me, I'm not gonna do the papal sanction shit. <laughs> Let's just get papal controller. It's, it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get streamer luck. He's gonna die, and we're gonna get all of Silesia. Trust me. Trust me. Check the AE? I'll check the AE in a second. I don't need to check it now. Okay. My diplomats are very busy. Okay. And it's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. Now, nah, screw the sanction. The Pope's gonna die, like, right now. He's gonna fall down some stairs right now. And... Look for my coming! At first light on the fifth day! At dawn! Look to the east! We save them! Victory! We have victory! Also, I yoinked the garrison. Wait, what? You run into Warsaw? What? Serious? What? Why? Uh, Alright, whatever. It's fine. We got Flory, you might get DMC8. I know, right? That was so good. Okay, so what the okay, what the shit? So three five four. Okay. Admin. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. So now, now the next air is going to have plus one admin. Well, I want the thing that gives me prestige. Where's that? Yeah, local noble. Yeah. It is Heinrich. Heinrich the, the fucking eighth. Um uh, was going to be a 131 and now he's a 232. Okay. Stream until then, another 45 minutes. And then, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a YouTube video uploaded to my YouTube channel, and you should all check it out. Check out my YouTube. No? But guys, it's a, it's a cool video. Check it out. It's made by it's made by Cogman. Spy number? Uh, oh, right. Let's check the AE, okay? So on a scale of 1 to 10. How bad do you think it is? 10? You think 10? I think it's gonna be a... Uh, 5.6. It's gonna be barely, barely... 
No, man, I'm gonna get like a fucking crap metric ton of A from this. Oh, no coalition yet! I mean, there's a coalition. Yeah, it's not that bad. Honestly, it's really not that bad. It is really not that bad. Alright, so if you improve relations with Austria and Brandenburg, we'll be fine. Yeah, see? It's really not that bad. Okay, so improving relations with Brandenburg is not gonna happen. <laughs> but maybe Austria will. Let's go improve relations with Austria and Thuringia. Alright, how about that? But also, uh, the Pope's gonna die. Yeah? The Pope's just gonna die. The Pope's just gonna die. Listen, right? The Pope is going to die, and we're going to get streamer luck, and I'm gonna get the stupid thing. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Pope is gonna die right now. Right now. Right now. I need to improve more relations with the Pope. Yeah. Prestige from Zachary first. I'll do that right at the end. Yeah. Am I losing so much money? What the hell? Hmm. Army maintenance is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Do you forget? Forget Bohemia to release someone for lower. What? No. Shit. I can't afford to lose prestige. It's very important that we have as much of that. As possible! Let's go! So that upgraded a little bit. I do have the better relations over time, though, yeah? Yeah, I'm still losing money. Stop losing money. Yeah, we need money. Oh, you know what's really funny? I can cock Austria out of all his land. If I quickly occupy these two provinces. That would be pretty funny now, wouldn't it? Can you beat him to it? Can you beat him to it? Yeah, you don't! So now he can't demand anything! Okay, that's pretty good. Still losing money? Still losing money. But we can about to, we can almost stop paying for our army. Isn't it a unification war? No, it's a war that Bohemia declared, and they were going to win it, but then um then I declared war on Bohemia. Bohemia decided to park his army in my land, like that, and then we stack wiped it, and he ended up dying. So Spy network for A reduction. Spy network doesn't reduce AE. Spy network only reduces AE on the country that you're doing it on. So it is pointless. Okay? It is... That AE... No. I got a ton of rebels right now. I need to go deal with that. Spy network on Austria? Yeah, but that's super counterintuitive. Counterproductive. Because if he get If the spy gets caught... Yeah. Then... Then he's gonna be upset, and I'm trying to improve relations with him, so he doesn't join even if I get the E on him. So yeah, spy on Bra see now spying on Brandenburg would be a good idea because he would actually get less AE, and I can improve relations with him. So there's a niche little useful thing that you can do. It works fine. Nah, no, it doesn't work fine, it's bullshit. It should work the other way around, I feel like. I feel like if you have lots of spies in the country, you can tell those spies, like, hey man, go find this document where it says that I'm the rightful owner of this land, and then you go become the rightful owner of that land. Like, Am I raising board taxes? I better be, yeah. Alright, can I go with state filers? We could do Zamogicha. I need to... Oh, actually, it's fine. How's the golf cap? <laughs> it's sort of less than stellar. What are you... Okay, we're fine. Um, I need to tell this thing to go over to the Livonian Order. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Pretty sick. Without that, I would never be able to take all this. Do you have units still? He still has an army. What the fuck? 
Yeah, I just want to see the peace deal, dude. I, I don't need to... Okay. Yeah, so we do that. Can I also, like, humiliate you? No, I can ask for war up and money, though. Yeah, if I wait, uh, if I wait, like, uh, a little bit more time... Well, I mean, I won't have a truce with Saxony. I can't have a truce with... I, I, Saxony is impossible. Poland's impossible. Bohemia is impossible. So then there's Pomerania, Brandenburg, and Austria. So I'm gonna wait one more year and I'm gonna peace out. Because they can't form. They, they don't have enough guys. But I'll wait one more year. This shit's and giggles. Also, I need to occupy Prague. So we have to wait anyway. Yeah, no, we have to wait anyway, so... Okay. Wait, now he did get the upgrade! No, no, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. Right, focus on admin. Give me the event. Give me the prestige event. Have you got... Oh! Uh, yikes! That is kind of sus. Oh, well advised, is it? Wait, did you uncon? Oh my god, he actually uncon. But why did you uncon to me and not Austria? This is bullshit. Uncon to Austria as well. Come on, don't be such a dick. Can you uncon to two people at the same time? Eh, whatever. We can peace out. We're fine. No one can join. There's Bohemia. We got a two to Bohemia in Poland. Austria doesn't even want to join. So we can peace out. Now, there's a very high chance that, that was totally, completely, utterly lying. Because, well, first of all, I'm over this shit. God damn it. Hey, you know what? Here. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reduce the infrastructure here because this is really expensive. And now we're fine. What? Another thing? I've got this one, I think. I got all the things. And I didn't piece out um, Saxony. It's kind of stupid. Got the problem. No, this should have made a difference. Hold on. If we wait one month, tick, it'll make a difference. Watch this. There you go. So. Perfect. Wait, what? Am I a great power now? What? How? Okay. Swap tier 1 to change government rank? No. Uh, we move with single minded purpose to. Uh, Crown ruler. Okay. So, conquer Poland. Happened. It's gonna give me some points. Manpower. All of that. Sexy times. Let's do it. You can go grab workshops. It's not. I need to core my shit. Okay. And we're completely fine. Yeah. Completely fine. How's my crown land? Crown land's doing alright. I could get rid of the. Yeah, I don't wanna get rid of that. I think, I think my crown land's kind of okay. We can seize again pretty soon. What's the AT at now? I'd be very surprised if it's not a hundred. It's a hundred. Uh, let's try and find ourselves a proper leader, okay? We still need 30. You missed war exhaustion. For no, I didn't miss that. Buying down war exhaustion to be point efficient is absolutely dog shit. Right? It's, it's terrible. Cholex. Oh my god, what the fuck did he do to- Oh, wow. Oh! Look at- ugh, Oh! Oh, no. Oh, that is- Oh, fuck, what did you do? Oh, you're friendly now. Uh... I'd like to keep improving relations there. Oh, fuck me, that is disgusting. Ugh. Alright. He's gonna doubt me soon. He really is. I need to build up a spider work on Poland. I'm gonna stop doing this. And we're going to start improving relations with you. Make my errand to a general? Yes. Uh, also, I need two more leaders. Two more leaders. Tauxin. Okay. And Rob Rob Revolution. Rob Rob Revolution. So that... Uh, I, 
Okay, now we need a level 2 mill guy. Reform the army! The modifier experiences of the battlefield gets upgraded into the modifier below. We get yearly armor tradition? Okay. Perfect. So now the next time we fight, we need to get 25 provinces in Ruthenia. And then, then what? You need to have completed the military idea group. And 25,000 cav. And a number of generals with traits at least two. Okay. Seems good. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. You gotta go Tengri for the memes? Uh... No. No, I don't, I, no, I don't think so. Alright, so... We could keep drilling, but... Uh, I should get some money. Uh, I can get money later, once I grab... Admin Tech 6. Should we switch out now? Out of monastic order into clerical state because then I can upgrade my golf cap. No. See the thing is, if I don't statify anything, we're going to stay. Next mission makes you kingdom. If I oh this one. All right, let's go. Never mind. Let's go insult the Ottomans. Update! Okay. So when's the truce with um, Poland over? 10 years. So I have 10 years apiece. I don't need to pay for these forts whilst we're waiting. Can I lower the autonomy in places? Yes. But let's wait for the course to finish. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna revoke this. And do... That. Which sucks a little bit, but we can fix. No one attack on Muscovy? Uh, all in due time. Okay. I got issues. Oh, Epstein died. Well, I'm sure he didn't kill him. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, let's get the prestige. Woo! Okay, he's really good. Let's go make the ruler into a general. All right, that's not suspicious at all. You know, for a monastic order, my clergy certainly are very upset with me. <laughs> uh, my new Heinrich. Why, why are all of them fucking named Heinrich? Can we get some... Oh, hello. Okay, well, we got a new Heinrich. Let's go. And we can say to my central Poland. Yeah, because I, I got more golf cap. We'd like to have all of this state fight, actually. What? Oh, uh, right. Now, who do I pick now? I just get the money. So, when was that two silver for Poland? 89. Okay. Can we do a Heinrich only run? Oh, we're doing it. This is Heinrich the, the eighth. Oh, no. This guy's called Albrecht. Never mind. I don't like Albrecht. He sucks as a leader, too. That's the seventh? Yeah, but I already had another Heinrich, and he fell down some stairs. So I was counting him, even though I probably shouldn't have. I can also funnel this dev into my land. Maybe I should just do that, because it's, we don't even embrace Silesian. And also, my golf cap is a bit of a problem right now. So let's spend the money on the Korea. Should we build a fort in Silesia? No. Hold on, my phone is exploding.
Uh, Wait, am I spending stuff on this? Yeah, I am. So this will save me quite a bit of money. And I would like to build some more horses though. Because I'm going to need a ton of those. And also some more of these. Man, I feel like Joan of Arc gets retrialed every fucking game now. Also, let's uh, get up to six of those as well. Seems good. I very much want to like lower my autonomy, but we gotta wait a little bit for that. <laughs> yeah, they upgraded it. Vetting. So now I'm barely spending anything on that. Uh, before we get workshops even. Although workshops are gonna be sick for us because we got... Like we fired fast the thing and we got this shit, so... How much is calf to infantry ratio now? Like, uh, 60%? I'm about to unlock this too, so... No! Glow got spawned. Uh, would've been great if it didn't. For like one more month. Would've been so sexy. In fact, I'm gonna buy this down. If you need perform progress more than anything, upgrade to Truckai Castle. Yeah, but I don't have the money for that shit. I just need more money. And seeing as how much land we need to conquer, that's why I was considering Atman ideas, but... Okay, so now at the month tick we can lower the autonomy everywhere. It's gonna give me some rebels, but it's okay. Rebels can be smitten, smite, smited. S smote? Smote. The rebels will be smote by my mighty horses. Give me autonomy reduction. Yes. Fire the level 2 mill guy. No. Well... No. I'll fire him later. I need the uh, smithen? Smithen's being in love, right? So, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not that one. Uh, let's revoke the patrons of the arts too. Okay. Time for some smoting. Muscovy declare war on Lithuania! Hold on, you're independent? No. Muscovy, no. Okay, bad Muscovy. G shoot. It oh, I'm so sorry. Missed seven years. Oh, so bad, so bad. I suck, I suck, I suck. No oh, victors here. Ian for Alexander, thank you for song for 63 months in a row, man. Tip my out to you, sir. Alex Livonia? Oh yeah, that's a fair point. We should definitely do that. Uh, give me the devotion. Let him in. Catholic zealots and Ozil. How come you keep firing Catholic zealots? How, you, Livonia, you need to maintain a good relation with your estates. You can't be doing this. Don't annex now, Govcap. Oh! <gasps> the balls on this man! The absolute cojones! Muscovy declares war on Lithuania. And Lithuania is just like, Okay, I'm gonna declare my independence now. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that is a chat. I feel bad about killing him, but we have to. That is a fucking chat ass move. Holy shit. And it buffs out for us because now we can eat Poland and Lithuania at the same time. They do amazing? This is a dumb, stupid fucking decision. Okay, I would not praise the AI over this decision, right? No. This is really fucking stupid. <laughs> Sure, you can have me all access. If you want to hide your army in my land, that's fine. Do you want to keep finishing this? Uh, uh, I mean, what's the point? Well, the point is, we get more things. Okay, fine. But I want this tech, yes. And now I want some money. Can I get some money? I want money. I could sell. And then we can finally get rid of the stupid church sanctuaries. Because like I said, I want Crownland in this campaign. So... Ooh, nice. 
Stability integration? Uh, no. It's not a, even remotely close. Okay, religious doctrine, lands for the church. Yeah, I want the stuff that doesn't give them influence. Wait, oh, but ooh, pop, ooh. Mm -mm. Oh, this is nice. But I think maintaining a balance of power is more useful in this campaign. Is the Sweden campaign done? It's done. Yeah. It's completely done. We crushed everything in one hit. Uh, it was over. Can you get innovative or humanist? Then you can get a reform that kills the, kills the clergy estate on tier 4. What the fuck? I don't want to kill the clergy. Clergy are nice. We're going to get them back later. But Can I sell? Next year. Right, keep drilling. Also, this. Yeah, look at that. 88. Almost an extra ducat. A full extra ducat. And uh, Königsberg needs some more help. Uh, a lot more help, actually. But I'll uh, save up the money to build the wonder first. If you're a theology, there's... How is there a difference between crown land and clergy land? Um... Wait, did you end up losing the independence war? Oh, you little fuck penis. This is why you shouldn't have done that. This is why you shouldn't have done that. You could have won if you just waited until after the war. Hide your units in my land, then declare independence, but no. I had to go and press chat, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, we can lower this some more. Okay, maybe we should fire this guy, because he is quite expensive. Let's get the Morale Armies guy. Miss up? Oh, I'm so sorry. Who'd I miss? Is that Flare Music? Thank you for some for 21 months in a row, man. Tip letter to you, sir. And Ender VLQL. Thank you for some for six months. Tip letter to you, sir. My god. That is disturbing. He took a huge fucking- Oh my god! Oh my god, he's gonna down me now. Ugh. Not looking forward to that. Oh, speaking of which, are you upset with me? No. Okay. Bite size large, yeah. The bear is coming. I will stomp the bear so hard. No worries about. Don't worry about the bear. The bear is fine. Let's get that construction cost reduction and get this thing. I lost great power status. So it's whatever. Where's Glogo? In Glogo. But I missed an- how do I keep missing these? I'm actually blind. Sunho, 1205, thank you for something for two months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. I'm so sorry, I'm actually blind. Are you still spying on Bohemia? No, 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 I'm, still, I'm spying on Poland. I should probably be spying on the Muscovites. And can I sell seas? Yes. But if I sell now, I want to get rid of the church sanctuaries. And then seas. And now when we take a huge chunk out of... I'm gonna be very surprised if I now take a chunk out of him that he doesn't... Like, I don't get crown land. That'd be so fucking weird. Alright, uh, I still want to dev this. Yeah, my burgers are a little upset, but I don't want to sit here waiting. I upgraded the thing, right? Yeah. So... Oh, yeah, let's get the ship trade power thing. Even though it sucks ass. And, uh, give me the... Give me this and that. And this. Any more temples? Any more of those? There we go. Drill. Save money for trackite? No. I mean, yes, but fuck. 
I think if I spend money now on making more money, then I'm gonna be able to build Trakai faster. In the grand scheme of things. Wait, did my air die again? Yeah, he did. Oh, and he's a sinner! Oh, let's go Norse! <laughs> Alright, well, time to go Norse, ladies and gentlemen. Is that another Heinrich? Yeah, that's another Heinrich. Heinrich von Karl. Yeah, what is this? I'll take the Yellow Prestige, why not? Alright, and there's Tech 7. So. Okay, wait, when do I secularize? I'll have time to hit Tech 10, right? Yeah, totally. So we can pick quality now. I can totally pick quality now, that's fine. And then we pick uh, Aristocratic over here. Yeah. And then Horde over here. That seems good. Oh, and that's gonna give me even more AE impact reduction, isn't it? Does that give AE impact reduction? Pretty sure it does. Man, I'm gonna suffer like no AE. What does um, espionage thingy do? Yeah, I'm just in the case, it's pointless. Unrest is just a number. All my provinces want to rise up because I keep lowering the autonomy. Because I want to flip out of a theocracy as soon as possible. So, there you go. We can finish this. Espionage plus divine is not. Okay, well, I don't care. Um, because the only thing I care about is one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. I want to get super horses. Who's actually allied to Moravia? Look at that. Alright, uh, it's time to go pay for our forts. How's my professionalism now? 36. Did you let him go? No, I didn't let him go. I think this uh, next war is going to be even more juicy than the previous one. No! Rob Rob Revolution! You poor thing, he had four siege and everything. Damn, he was so good. Want to afford in Krakow? Yeah, but I don't own Krakow yet. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to border the Ottomans and the other guy at the same time. I do want to somehow maintain that guy. Alright, Mr. Poland. Uh, what I need now... 25 provinces in Ruthenia. Yeah. How does the Ruthenian area look like? Ow. Seems like we will be bordering the Ottomans. I'm gonna declare war for Palenka. Where is it? Palenque? Palenki, 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 Palenki. I can't see Palenki. I can't, I can't fucking read. But it's right there, right? Why, why can't I? <coughs> it's because I'm actually literally blind. And also dying, apparently. Alright, let's do it. I don't think he's gonna, like, fight back. Oh, shit, he might be fighting back. Are you actually gonna fight back? Really? Are you sure? Because, like, I'm really strong right now. So, like, you know, it, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, actually, so are you. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a tech advantage this time, so that's something to keep in mind. No, we're exactly on par in tech now. Got two generals with traits. Uh, maybe. Wait, uh, yeah, Chalax, let's go give you a trait. Do I need that for the that mission? 
I mean, I need 25,000 cav for this. I don't... Oh, also now we can put the focus on mill. Still don't have a trade on you. Uh, wait. Get a moth stick. But you got Heinrich and he hasn't. He hasn't what? Yeah, but Chalex also doesn't have a trait, so I need to feed him a trait anyway. He's my best general, and I need to feed him a trait. Okay, now he's got a trait. Now we need... Okay, so both of them have a trait. Perfect. Oh, uh, we can also piece out Moravia. So I want you to steer trade to me. Yeah, and we're gonna get that this. Uh, because then I think by the time we, if we finish this, we'll have 95% cavalry to infantry ratio. I'm hoping that would be a little bit better. But... Wait, doesn't Aristocratic give that now? As well? Or not? No, it doesn't, right? No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Maybe Yoink Lithuania? Oh. Um, I don't think that's going to be possible. What's your total war score? No, maybe next war. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea, honestly. So, what is my piece still going to be here? 25 provinces in the Ruthenium Plain. And the Ruthenium Plain is exactly on the border, right? Not exactly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's no way I can do this in one more. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fuck. 12. 13. 14, yeah, okay. I'm gonna fight Muscovy. <laughs> so, seeing as how I already border Muscovy, I'm gonna leave a little slinzy, tinsy, winsy, slinzy, winsy slice of land here so that the Ottomans will first have to decide to fight Lithuania. That I don't get myself into a position where we have to fight both at the same time, okay? Then again, I also need to kill the hordes, yeah? Yeah, so maybe do a completely different piece deal. And instead, go like this. Snake straight, straight through. <laughs> the gore? It looks like a penis. It kinda does. An upside down penis. Yeah, or we just take this. I know Zop's in the wrong place. We could also just take this. How many problems is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 13 provinces. So then... We can fight Muscovy. And we could probably take like 12 provinces from Muscovy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, and then ODF. That's Russia. Fuck. Oh, I also need to convert to cat. Okay, well then it doesn't really doesn't matter, and we'll have to fight just two wars anyway. So in that case, let's take Vilnius. In that case, we take this. Yeah. 
Then we fight the Muscovites and Snake over here. This looks pretty, no? Yeah, this fucking stinks, dude. Can I really not take 12 provinces from you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I can take 11. And then one more from ODF. Okay, you know what? No. We'll take this. Oh, yeah! Video's live, ladies and gentlemen. Video's live! Video's live, and I need to get ready for work. So, uh, have a good one, guys. But before we go, check out my YouTube channel. You should check out my YouTube channel. Please check out my YouTube channel. This video is a highlight reel. It's a Gotham guide. How to dominate How to dominate the world as a pirate. Get, 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 the, get, the, get the video. 2.7k? Holy shit. Really? What? That... Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that, considering uh, how easy the independent or the independence war was. But that's pretty good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, check out the video. Check out the- go check it out. The editing is really good. I did- uh, check it out. It's really nice, okay? We're, we're, going, we're, we're doing YouTube things. And also, I'll be back tomorrow for the ninth stream in a row. Let's go! <laughs> 2.7k people watching a guy in his bathroom play U4. That is awesome. That is awesome. Alright, so tomorrow we're going Holy Horde mode. Yes? So have a good one. Check out the video. Check Enjoy my Discord. <laughs> and follow me on Twitter. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye!